Charlotte! Paima never thought she'd see you two together. Yeah, what the spark? Nice to see you again, Traveler and Paimon. Oh, we're not interrupting anything, are we? <laughs> not at all. I wasn't in the middle of an interview or anything. I was just asking Miss Kuching about purchasing a kite. A kite? A kite? Are you buying some regional specialties to bring back to Fontaine? Well, yes. And... <laughs> it seems you haven't heard yet. The theme of this year's Lantern Rite is kites. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Liyue Harbor is always changing, so it is only fitting that Lantern Rite should change in turn. That makes sense. The Qixing believes it would benefit Liyue to build on our own cultural foundation by embracing the technologies of other nations. After all, it is said that the stones of another mountain may serve to better polish one's own jade. So, Ningguang organized a private meeting with Miss Charlotte, to ask for her help in fostering cooperation with the right people. Okay, I just thought about Charlotte and Yan Fei meeting, and I hope that doesn't happen. I feel like we'll never see the end. They'll just keep talking. In the end, we decided to combine Miyue's traditional art of kite making with Fontaine's mechanical vertical lifting device. Wait, what? Mechanical lifting device? Sounds pretty impressive. Yeah. Uh, but don't kites just use the wind to fly? Why would you need to add something mechanical? Well, you've actually just answered your own question, Paimon. How high and far a kite can fly depends as much on the weather conditions as on the skill of the person holding the string. Oh, so I must become an elite kite wielder. But as soon as there's no wind, you can only flail about helplessly like a sweet flower medaka out of water. Experience a doesn't matter what? at that point. Hey, what's a medaka? Exactly. Liyue is now a nation ruled by humans, after all. It's about time we had the power to make a kite fly, don't you think? I mean, is it still a kite? Yes, if it the easier we can make it to enjoy, the more people will want to participate. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> Sounds awesome. <laughs> right? I also thought it was a novel idea. <laughs> Plus, it shouldn't cost much to do. With Miss Charlotte's help, everything has gone smoothly. Our new mechanical kites are already available to purchase from a stall in the harbor. We're having trouble keeping up with demand. Ha, huh, first world issue. We also gave quite a bit of thought to the price. We didn't want it to be too much more expensive than a traditional kite. Smart. Cool! Turns out you two and Ningguang like playing with toys just as much as Paimon! What toys do you play with? Uh, toys? They're not exactly toys. I don't disrespect them like that, Paimon. You see, Miss Kuching, that does seem to be everyone's first reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I like the toy are that flies. One of our most time honored <laughs> cultural relics. <laughs> Outside of their use in certain ceremonies, I suppose they're considered playthings more than anything now. You're a plaything. <clears throat> but to me, there's so much more than that. Think for a second about how remarkable it is that a flimsy paper kite attached to a string has the capacity to touch the sky. It is this slight piece of paper that also carries the weight of Liyue's cultural traditions. There's an old poem that goes, O kite born of paper, flying true and sound, a lone traveler wanders, just waiting to be found. In the past, poets from Liyue used kites to symbolize a feeling of longing, or evoke the peacefulness of idyllic rural scenery. If the people of today can derive enjoyment from this activity, they will not only be more likely to better appreciate the tradition, but also to pass it down to the people of tomorrow. That's the Kuching we know, always thinking five steps ahead of anyone else. Yeah. Well said, Miss Kuching. I've learned quite a bit myself. <laughs> as long as you're willing to listen, I'm happy to share. I also know quite a lot about the various folk traditions related to kites. For example, Whenever a kite blew away, people would say it was the Adepti that summoned the wind to take it away as an offering. That way, 
You can turn an unfortunate event into an auspicious one. What about something... more fun? Do you know anything like that? More fun... Hmm, let me think. Oh, I suppose we should first talk about how kites are made. It's another one we of don't, our precious we don't need to know about that. craftsmanship. I'm good, really. My grandfather told me that, back when he was a boy, children learned the art of kite making step by step from their elders. First, you use the thin strips of bamboo to construct the frame. Then, you draw a design of your choice on a piece of paper, paste it onto the frame, and tie on the string. Then, you look towards the sky and release the kite to soar among the clouds. Some people write down certain names or desires on their kites, cut the string, and let them fly free. Others may place particular thoughts or meaning into the design itself. Are certain designs associated with certain meanings? <laughs> I'm gonna jot all of this down. Hmm. Well, for example, kites in the shape of a butterfly typically symbolize freedom, hmm. happiness, or the desire to break free. I get that. Fascinating. What else can you tell me? You know, honestly, Charlotte, why, why don't you just take things, you know, in, in doses? The scissored-tailed swallow is the most classic design. It symbolizes good fortune and joyful tidings. Different colors also have small variations in meaning. Are these commonly understood meanings and symbols in Liuet? Kind of like the language of flowers in Fontaine. Do you only ask questions? Hmm, I believe so. Most have probably heard something about it from their elders at some point. If you're interested, Miss Charlotte, I have several books on the topic that I could lend you. They could be a useful reference. This sounds amazing. Why don't y'all take that over there? That would be a huge help! Great! Looks like I've got the outline for quite the article on my hands. <laughs> so happy for you. So, I hope it goes well. <laughs> Perfect! We're gonna take a look around! Yeah, we're gonna go. <laughs> Then I'll show Miss Charlotte to my home for a little while. All right, you do that. I almost forgot. The Ministry what? of Civil Affairs is hosting a kite flying contest on the night of Lantern Rite. If you're interested, you're more than welcome to bring a kite and participate. The rules are simple. Whoever flies their kite the highest and furthest within the time limit will receive a special honor along with a secret prize. Did someone say secret prize? Could it be a secret stone? What do you mean this is not the same game? I've already prepared more than enough empty film for the event. I can see the spectacle already. <laughs> We've got it in the bag. <laughs> uh, maybe tone it down a bit, Traveler. What if we don't win? It's better to keep a low profile until the competition starts. Then we'll give them a show they never saw coming. Oh, that secret prize is ours. Okay. Then I'll look forward to seeing your performance. You bet! See you then! Bye-bye! Wait, Trevor? Huh? What? Take a peek to your right. Why? Do you see those two people lurking over there? No. Is it just Paimon? Or were they staring at us the whole time we were talking to Kuching and Charlotte just now? People do that. Mm, they seem fishy. I agree. Great, so it wasn't just Paimon. It was just you. Do you think they could be treasure hoarders? They always seem know. to be stirring up trouble during Lantern Right. I'm really just trying to go with the flow here. Oh, Paimon's sick of waiting around for something bad to happen. We Same. We strike first, you know. What? Foil their plans before no. they even begin. Uh, no, no, let's, n let's not involve ourselves in unnecessary matters. You go right, Paimon will go left. No, Paimon, what are you going to do? Eat? Oh. oh! It is with such an air of urgency that you appear before us. Your comportment suggests you believe us to have committed some heinous crime. I don't like his Perhaps voice. Perhaps you could enlighten us as to your intentions. You keep talking like that, and I'll answer any question you have. Whoa! Where did this funny daddy come from? <laughs> you mean funny daddy? <laughs> you should be the one doing the enlightening, that, buddy. I like his voice. Notice you eavesdropping. One look and we can tell you were up to no good. Tell us everything! 
everything starting with your name. That's right. You better listen, Pirate. Uh. <laughs> what? One bears no secrets before two such as yourselves. You stand in the presence of the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Moon Carver. Ha! Huh. Wait, what? For the You're in human form? For the into the mortal realm, however, you may address one as Hojong. Nani! That's so cool! You kidding? That deer's got his head stuck so far up in the clouds. Paimon, no don't be rude. Don't be rude. Be respectful. Uh, you may want Unbelievable. to hold your tongue, Paimon. Yeah. <laughs> don't think that Paimon is going to believe you just because you know her name. Oh my but gosh. Paimon, I guess you're supposed to be Mountain Shaper, right? Why are you such a brat today? Indeed. Mooncarver and myself have descended upon the mortal realm for a visit. The two of you may call me Jiahu. Jiahu, nice to meet you. Huh. Looks like you did your research. But in our experience, the harder you try to lead us on, the more likely it is that we've got a big fish on our hands. Paimon, please. We'll go straight to the Millilith and have you arrested for impersonating a death guy. Stitches get stitches, first off, Paimon. So, we'll, look, we'll handle this ourselves. Preposterous. Huh? Utterly preposterous. Agreed. <clears throat> but if you really are who you claim to be... And it better not be some common knowledge that any person on the street could tell you. <sighs> you may recall that in order to preserve the tranquility of one's mountain, one planted karst crawlers around Mount Hulao. I just thought, what if we don't actually know this fun fact and they just made it up? In fact, the seeds are one of Streetward Rambler's cultivars. Among all the Adepti, her horticultural skill is preeminent. You're preeminent. The plant neither wilts nor withers, and its practical use is undeniable. Yet it does require quite the upkeep. After a while, one tires of the effort. Thus, one had no choice but to foray into town to inquire from Streetwood Rambler a gentler and more easily managed variety. On your way, you were accosted by a group of youths, and without revealing your true form, were unable to extricate yourself of their presence. If one's memory serves, Streetward Rambler had to personally come to your rescue. Uh... <clears throat> How did you come into possession of such knowledge? The young lass, Yao Yao, keeps no secrets from Cloud Retainer. Yao Yao! <sighs> Alas, one can only let bygones be bygones. Well, I suppose there really are the Adepti. Uh, that might have been more detail than we needed. Seems like you two are the real deal, and Paimon, sorry for suspecting you. Yeah, yeah, you, that was the wrong time for you to do what you did. But, uh, for beings as forgiving as yourselves, this is just water under the bridge, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, take it as a compliment to the quality of your disguise. Few people will be able to see through it, you know? <clears throat> you indeed have an agile mind. Cloud Retainer was Thanks. not mistaken in her high estimation of you. That's right! Don't you forget it! Paimon's still curious about something. It's just... Paimon can understand why Mountain Shaper is here, but... Why did you decide to come to the city, Mooncarver? It's not really your thing, is it? Hmm. Don't question him. He, he can be here as long as he wants to be. <sighs> it is but an inevitable eventuality. Ha! Huh. Long have the mountains remained strangely idle since Cloud Retainer's move to Liu at Harbor. With Lantern Rite near at hand, one would expect Cloud Retainer to provide us with an account of the festivities in advance. Yet to this day, she has failed to appear. Cloud Retainer is hardly the forgetful sort. One must never rest idle in the face of that which demands action. And since our acquaintances dwell in Liyue Harbor, we had to travel here in human form to avail ourselves of their aid, Cloud Retainers in this case. But a moment ago, one heard you speak of a mechanical kite of sorts. It appears the essence of the situation has hitherto revealed itself. 
Now it is time for one to retire back to one's abode. Huh. So you're not looking for Cloud Retainer anymore? Perhaps there are aspects of Cloud Retainer's temperament that remain opaque to young Paimon. Given one's <coughs> understanding, one can only imagine the anger that now consumes her. Cloud Retainer is of a proud and arrogant disposition. She holds the belief that her skill in mechanics surpasses that of all others. One can be quite certain it is hardly with an open mind that she regards the arrival of this new technology. One surmises that she has shut herself away, refused all company, and buried herself in the study of her own creations. To call on her would only invite her rebuke. However, if you do happen to cross paths with her over the next few days, do pass along one's regards. Okay. Sure, leave it to us. Have a safe trip back, enjoy the scenery, and happy lantern ride! Yeah, what a drastic change. Thank you for your kind words. We shall now depart. Take it easy, Mooncarver. <clears throat> we got all worked up for nothing, huh? All that trouble and it turned out to be people we knew all along! Well, it's still pretty early. Let's head over and check out the kite stalls. Okay. Paimon wants to see what kinds of kites we can buy to use in the competition. The bigger and prettier, the better. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome. Are the two of you looking to buy a kite? Would you like me to go over the different designs? No, I'll just buy a kite. Ooh, a sister kill swallow and a butterfly. Paimon, and one. Oh. One. Uh, this jade chamber design is our newest. It's been selling like crazy over the past two days. I like the jade chamber. Does it also have a unique meaning? Of course. The jade chamber symbolizes wealth and abundance. The kite bearing its design is said to bring riches in the future to those who fly it. Okay, I want that one. Oh, now that's Paimon's kind of kite. For once, uh, I agree. I apologize ah. for the interruption, but are all your wares in order, Miss Genuine? Long Joe. Huh. Yes, yes, they're just over there. The paper, bamboo, and dyes. All the necessary kite making materials. Wonderful. I'll pack them up and get a guard to deliver the goods to Yilong Wharf for you. Yilong Wharf? Oh, wonder what that place is like during Lantern Right. Paima would love to go take a look. If the two of you are interested in going to Yilong Wharf, then could I trouble you to find Gaming and deliver these goods together? <gasps> oh! We get to meet him! Yes. Is Gaming the guard you just mentioned? Gaming. Oh my gosh. I, just like the rest of the American population, was obviously saying his name incorrectly. Yes. The communications office handles shipments and transports around Liyue. He works for the Secure Transport Agency, one of our sub-organizations. Uh, the problem is, many of my colleagues have taken leave during Lantern Rite to spend time with their families. So, our available workforce has seen a dramatic decrease recently. If you were willing to help out, then I could get a head start on my next appointment. It's literally what I'm here for. <laughs> I wasn't actually gonna buy a kite, come on. You do seem really pressed for time. We do expect to be compensated. Of course, of course. <gasps> Hard work deserves ample rewards. Okay, okay. As long as uh, I can get that in writing. Now, at this time of day, coming should be somewhere in the vicinity. But just follow the main road until you see the head of a Wusho dance costume. Cool. Should be on your right. Because I absolutely know what that is. Be sure to come back if you'd like to buy a kite. I'll even give you a discount. Now we're talking. Wait, I thought we had an agreement. Oh. A loser buys dim sum tomorrow. <laughs> Look at you. Scowl like that for much longer and your face might stay that way. I love his voice. Hey now, don't be upset. How about this? You extend the invitation and I'll pay. Uh, no way, Gaming. You're always the one picking up the tab. I'm not trying to be a sore loser. I just didn't expect you to come from behind a win like that. <laughs> that was nothing. All in a day's work, friend. Gaming is good at Gaming. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> Perfect. Gaming is here. I see that. Sorry to interrupt, Gaming. 
We just spoke to a guy from the communications office who needs you to deliver some goods to Elon Wharf. Oh, that must have been Longjo. Looks like I've got work. I gotta go. Sure, go do your thing. Uh, let's have a rematch when you get back. I won't let you win so easily next time. <laughs> Alrighty, you can hand the goods over to me. Must have been heavy hauling them all this way. Let me take them off your hands. Thank you. Eh, it wasn't <clears throat> that bad. It's just some kite making materials. Plus, we didn't have to walk very far. You didn't carry anything, Pyman. Kite making materials. I see. I see. I'm glad it wasn't too much trouble, Paimon. Still, I owe you one. Don't you forget it. Ah, and you must be the traveler. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for your help. Absolutely. <laughs> huh? You know us? <laughs> there probably aren't many in Liyue who don't. I've heard quite a bit about you two. You're quite oh, well yeah. known around these parts. Well, you know, what, what can you expect? <laughs> oh, and please excuse Longzhou if he forgot to thank you. Uh, take my thanks in his place. I will. He's a good guy. He's just been super busy lately. Running around from place to place. Don't be too hard on him, yeah? Don't be too hard on Longzhou. <laughs> don't be too hard on Long. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, no worries. So, you here for Lantern, right? Yep. Yep, it's always so lively this time of year. We were actually hoping we could tag along to Elon Wharf and have a look around. Perfect. We'll go together then. Okay. I'm good with directions, so just follow me. Trust me, I know my way around. We can exchange stories, tell jokes, or just chat along the way. Okay. Oh, and there are a couple of good places to eat along our route. We can stop and grab a bite when it's time. We are just moving so fast. I love it. The ingredients are fresh, the portions are generous, and the prices won't break the bank. You can order anything, and I promise you won't be disappointed. Order anything? Paimon, please. Hey, did you really have to call Paimon out like that in front of our new friend? <laughs> Don't worry, I understand. I joke around like that with my friends, too. It just shows how close you are. Do you need to pack anything up before we hit the road? I can wait. I I wouldn't do that to you. Nope, our things are always packed and ready. We're pretty much travel experts at this point. But you know we name traveler, so we're good at traveling. You know, like you you got me. And you seem to be good at game. Like what are the odds? I I don't know. Oh, that's right. <laughs> then let's get going. If we run into any trouble, you can count on me to protect you. I am a guard, after all. <laughs> please! Please protect me, Gumming! <clears throat> Whoa! Oh, this is so cute! Whoa! Welcome. One's name is Fujin, the local adeptus, and this is the tiny little teapot realm one calls home for now. We were doing a delivery. How did we suddenly end up... The paper is used to make kites. You can feel festive fortune emanating from me. Yeah. Uh, no, that's, that's fine. Um, well, happy lantern, right? So, we're the only ones that were brought here? And you know us? Only the two of us surpassing capability with the local spirit veins? Okay, alright, right. So, the names were carried here by the fish that swim. Right. I, I don't... Okay, so, quite convenient. You've invited me to a tea-tasting banquet. Alright, well... <clears throat> but look, we got a tea delivery to make, so... I presume two of you have heard of the tea village of Chen Yu Vale. Ying Village? This land has been famous for its cool, fragrant water since ancient times. People are of gentle character, and the pristine pebbles in its streams are exquisite. I hear a butt incoming. Precisely. The waters and soil of Chenyu Vale have begun to change recently, as has the scent of its tea. Chao Ying Village will inevitably decline, should this persist. One hopes that you two can resolve the disharmony of the soil and water on one's behalf. The water veins are spread across the mountains, but my power is no longer sufficient. 
nor is the present of a good time for me to move about. Thus, I must rely on your kindness and aid. Well, this is all a bit sudden. We we need to deliver some goods first, so if we could just, uh, <clears throat> we're not experts with, uh, you know, the whole soil and water thing, too, so. I'm quite direct, but I'm clever by nature, so uh, I sh I, I'm going to overcome the challenges. Cool. Right. Uh, still not quite getting it, but okay. No. Right. Okay. Uh, perfect. Yep. Adeptal energy. Cool. I'm going to go. So, yep. Nice to meet you too, Fujin. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. So, welcome. Thank you. A little late, but uh, thanks for inviting me. Uh, also, happy lantern. Right. Okay, I'm going to go. Right. Uh, Pyman, we're, we were kidnapped. We were. I know. But let's go. Uh, we have a delivery to make, and now we gotta separate water from soil for Chaoying Village. That, that's why I gotta have it. So, Fujin, uh, thank you for kidnapping me, so. Oh! Guys, if I see a golden... Can you hear me? What? What is... Oh, you're back! Ha! Ah! Jeez, guys. Oh! Where'd you go? Oh! One moment you were there, the what? next you disappeared. Where are you? you the life out of me. Coming, I don't see you! Hey! Oh, I like the music. It's kind of hard to explain. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> well, the mountain road is pretty hazardous, and it's easy to get lost in the fog. So from here on out, stay close to me. Got it! Let's keep going! Absolutely. Oh, that's party. That is so party. Right. Oh, the docks are just a bit further. One step at a time. Hang in there. Where are you coming? Oh! I get to use them! Nice! Wait, another get behind me. I'll handle this. As one with wind and cloud. Into the wind. <sighs> Seems like we really can't go anywhere without running into treasure hoarders, can we? Nope. Yeah. It's not uncommon for deliveries to get intercepted. That's why this job needs guards like us. Paimon was impressed by your moves back there. You seem like a real pro at your job. Show me your moves. Oh, <laughs> that's not a skill I learned on the job. It's just a hobby. Have you ever heard of wushu dancing? No. Really? Wushu dancing is famous in Chunyu Vale. Never been here. Performers might be invited to promote the opening of a business or to spread good fortune during a holiday season. But I must admit, it has nothing on the popularity of the Li Yue Opera. Makes sense. I'm also well aware that people in Li Yue Harbor aren't exactly jumping at the chance to watch Wu Shou dancing. So it's not something I do full time. Aww. Huh? You have two jobs? How do you have the energy to do all that? <laughs> It's not that tiring. You just have to take a rest. Ah, Paimon gets it, so you must sleep a lot then. Not really. Just yesterday, I stayed up all night playing cards. <laughs> Cheese and rice coming. Oh. Uh. Let's go. The docks are just up ahead. I love his character. I love his personality. I love his voice. Like, he, his design is good enough to be a main character. Just like Kazuha. Wanderer, and, uh... You know, Bennett. I, I think Bennett has a good main character look, too. Finally, we can rest. Ooh, Paimon's shoulders are so stiff. And her stomach so empty. Sorry, sorry. Did I push the pace a bit too much? I mean, you were the ones who said you were travel experts. You know what? Just His hair color, especially, looks like the main guy from so Demon Slayer. Like I'm getting Demon Slayer oh, vibes from him. Would you stop complaining, Paimon? Oh, would you like some winter melon cake? I have some on me that I bought from a store. I want some. Yes, Paimon will take all you got. No, Paimon, come on. Uh, you I might do all the work. Yourself there, or you'll be too full to eat a proper meal later. It's fine, I'll, I'll eat hers. Paimon never gets too full. Just like... Oh, just like you apparently never get tired, no matter how far you walk or how many jobs you work. 
Maybe we won't tell you how we're doing that, how we're surviving. Ah, I no. see. <clears throat> then here you go, Paimon. And for you, Traveler. Enjoy. Thank you. And here's some for you too, Uncle Bosu. Don't think I forgot about you, my friend. You're so respectful. I'll just it to the side here for you. Gaming seems like a real people person. He can get along with anyone, and he treats every person he meets like a close friend. This is textbook how to win friends and influence people, by the way. <sighs> that hit the spot. Paimon thought she was going to starve to death for a minute there. Dramatic. <laughs> that close of a call, huh? Unbelievable. <sighs> I've been eating winter melon cake ever since I was a kid. You can buy them from all sorts of places, whether it's a small vendor on the side of the road or a big restaurant in the city. But each place produces cakes with a slightly different flavor. Hmm. If you like these ones, I can give you the address of the shop I bought them from. I'll just have to check when we get back. Huh. <laughs> oh, oh, all my jabbering must be making it difficult for you to enjoy the scenery in peace, huh? Don't be afraid to tell me to zip it for a little while, okay? Really, I won't be offended. Okay. You can I'm keep talking. Kind of enjoying listening to your chitter chatter. <laughs> Let's get at her. Aw, a fed Paimon is a happy Paimon, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. I say I was done. <laughs> I like Ami. <clears throat> you slowly lose yourself in the beauty of the surrounding scenery. Boy, you know what? You are greeted by the sight of Yilong. What? Yilong? Don't forget your things, and uh, watch your step as you get off the raft, or you're in for a swim. Thanks for the ride, Uncle Bosu. You take care of yourself now. I'll see you some other time. Okay, follow me. This way is fastest. We'll have to take the elevator up to the secure transport agency. Y'all have an elevator? Hey! I slow down. Oh, sorry. Sorry, what guy. What is it? No one's gonna try any funny business when the street is this packed. Oh, well... Uh, how should I put it? Come on, spit it out! Do you see that group of people over there? Yeah. Those are my relatives. You have a lot of relatives. Wow, you sure have a big family. Once they start buying things, they won't stop perusing till it gets dark. Oh, this is bad. What's wrong? They're your family, not your arch enemies. What's there to be afraid of? Unless... Oh, did you do something horrible to them? No, it's not that. I'm just... not that good at dealing with my family. It would be best if we could steer clear of them. I'll explain more when we have the chance, but... Right now, we've got a job to do. Listen, stealth is not really my thing. Mm, the left side looks pretty packed. Let's go straight. In that one video, Let's I saw. Here for a second. Maybe my aunt will leave. No, dude, please right. show some love to North Wolf. Hi. Don't sound on our Buy three boxes. Bye. Hey, that's it. Stick close, traveler. Sorry, sorry, I was talking to an NPC. You know, it happens. To the right, and... Uh, oh! Wow, you guys are good. I'm impressed. I literally just followed you, but okay. That was nothing. It was a piece of cake. Oh, winter melon cake to be exact. <laughs> you really liked it, huh? Ooh, you know what? I'll buy you a whole bunch and pile them so high you can swim in them. Do you want Paimon? As I'm feeling generous. Hey, Uncle Jirigoy. These are my friends, the Traveler and Paimon. They came to deliver some goods with me. So, I guess I'll go ahead and take these over to Uncle Yongzan then? Yes. Thanks for your hard work. I should thank you both for your trouble as well. Please take a seat and rest for a bit. I'll prepare some tea. No need. We'll be off soon anyway. Hey, we're already here, aren't we? No harm in taking a load off for a bit. Plus, I know the Secure Transport Agency has some great Songwa tea stash around here somewhere. I promise you, one sip and you'll be hooked. Would you stop winning me over? Anyway, you just sit down and relax, Uncle Jirgoy. Who would I be if I just sat here and let you go through all this trouble? Leave this to me. I have to be up and about to drop these goods off anyway. What's a little extra time on my feet? Oh, you aren't too picky, right, Traveler? 
I know Paimon prefers things on the sweeter side, so I won't steep the tea too long. And I'll add some dim sum pastries on the side. Unbelievable. Stop being perfect! Aw, you noticed what Paimon likes? You wanna go with him? I think he's more suitable. How long have you two known Gami? 84 years! Someday, hopefully. Oh, not long at all. We just kinda tagged along on his trip to Elong Wharf. He's just a super welcoming guy. We became friends. You know, just like that. Pyman's his friends loosely. <laughs> That's just how he is. He's the attentive sort. Really knows how to look after his own. A while ago, one of our guards had to take off work. Said his joints were hurting due to the rain. Gaming personally went all the way to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get some medicine for him from Dr. Baiju, then traveled through the night to deliver it back to him. Wow. That young man has such a good head on his shoulders. How can anyone not love him? I mean, there is his dad, but, well, ask anyone else. And... Uncle Yongzan says he doesn't oh. have the personnel to spare for this delivery right now. So what do you think, Uncle Jirigui? Should I go ahead and deliver it instead? Well, hold on, we were just <sighs> talking like about your dad. You enough already. Hey, wait. It's we're gonna, making we're gonna learn about though. his dad. Could be for a kid. We're, we're gonna learn about his dad. We're, I'm sure the sender were, wants it coming. delivered before Lantern Ray. Did you already get everything? Like what? Oh, uh, I was... by the way, here, have some tea. Okay, thanks. The refreshing aroma and lingering aftertaste. All right, then. Some tea. Deliver it if you want to. Was wonderful. Ooh, are you free in two days? How about we grab some dim sum from Shinya Kiosk? My treat, and don't even think about trying to pay. Okay. You're coming on pretty strong. All out. Uh, don't mention it. Just think of this as a thank you for all your help. Besides, the thing between me and my family, it's a long story. It might take some time to tell. Well, I got time. Sounds good! Got nothing but time. No to free food. All right, then I'm off. See you in two days. Oh, and Paimon, make sure not to eat too much before then. Don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, Paimon! Okay, Mora does grow on trees. <laughs> She's just gonna have to show him how much she can really eat. No, that's not what you're doing. Anyway, is Gomin's family situation really that complicated? Yeah, I wanna learn about the dad. So he has daddy issues? He has such a happy go lucky personality. Plus, he's an enthusiastic and diligent worker. It's hard to imagine a guy like that being troubled by much. Paimon is so smitten. Tell me about it, Dad. Hmm, how should I put it? Since he already plans to tell you himself, you don't need an old man like me to add my two cents. Sure I do. You seem to be around the same age, so you might have a lot in common. Perhaps you could help him talk things through. Consider it a favor to me. Sure. If you have the time, maybe you can make a little flag for us to wave about. It can say, we provide aid in spades. Couldn't hurt to advertise our services, right? Well, you mean I provide I certainly aid in spades? That. Is there anything else you wanted to say? Wait, seriously? Paima was just joking, but if you're going to get us something, she'd much rather have winter melon cake instead. Unbelievable! Diabetes! <laughs> uh, seems like Gaming really has rubbed off on you. Oh yes. Would you like some more tea? I think there's some left. It's not how you say Gaming, but okay. We should see the kinds of kites they got. Maybe they'll have ones you can't find in Liyue Harbor. That's not a bad idea, Pie Man. All right, then. Please do let me know if you'd like more tea. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. Ah! Ah! What are you doing here? Oh! Huh. The way you speak. One might have presumed you were displeased to be in one's presence. Shenyun! Greetings, Cloud Retainer. <laughs> nah, you and I, we gonna get personal. I don't care that you're really a bird, you know. <laughs> you can be my bird. <laughs> we could just fly away. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Take note, Paimon. Oh. You could learn a thing or two about how to respect your elders. Yeah, Paimon. Respect oh, your elders. Starting on the elder stuff already. They age like a fine wine. Shouldn't you be back in your cave tinkering away at some kite-related thingamabob or something? What brings you out here? I won't put that huge box next to you. Ah! Paimon gets it. You're here to do some boxes. shopping, aren't you? <clears throat> what? And what of it? The Chishing's decision to integrate Fontanian technology into said kite flying competition is of no consequence to oneself. I agree with Union. Did you expect one to willfully compete against the whimsical trends of worldly sentiment, or perhaps even fall to petty sulking over such? Nope. Um, it's not that we think those things exactly. That's just what Mountain Shaper and Mooncarver told us, or Tia something and Ho. Paimon can't be bothered to remember what their aliases were called. <laughs> what? What are we talking about? Anyway, up? they went to Liyue Harbor to look for you. Paimon, well, could you just go somewhere? I need to talk to Jianyun. Oh, huh. Jianyun? Huh. Did she forget about them? Oh, it appears time has quite flown since one's arrival in Liyue Harbor. How could one have forgotten about those two old fossils? Look, if you need help... Uh, one shall have to bring them back some divine herbs to atone for this slight. Nay, given that one has ventured all this way to Yilong Wharf, tea would be more advisable. Yilong Wharf, ye <clears throat> A great thought has illuminated one's mind once again. One is reminded that certain purchases have yet to be made. Hmm. Perhaps you two could wait here whilst one performs this task. It'll be but a moment. Okay. Huh? Wait here? You really just gonna teach <clears throat> us here to watch your stuff? Oh, I, I watched your stuff. <laughs> oh, that woman really just does whatever she wants. And she's allowed to. Okay? I'll leave the stuff watching to you. Hey! I don't care. Go find Gaming. Uh, just come back soon, okay? Can't promise that. Paimon, Paimon doesn't want anyone to try and steal the stuff. Well, protect it. Welcome. Please have a look around. We only sell teas of the finest quality, sourced directly from Chaoying Village. Might I recommend the Sunglo variety? It's one of our specialties. Now, that sounds promising. One will bring some back for those old fossils, and all will be well. Two boxes will, will well. do. Wonderful. By the way, we're actually running a special lantern right promotion. Buy three boxes, get 10% off. Four boxes will net you 20% off. Hmm. 20% off four boxes. This merchant strikes a fair bargain. Don't get hustled. One might as well give some to Morax and Ping, too. Then four shall suffice. Oh, you get hustled. Hmm, I see. Are you intending to give these as gifts? If so, perhaps I can interest you in these exquisite gift sets. Buy 10, get half off. You're getting hustled! Look at the magnificent design. And the red ribbon gives quite the festive flair, don't you think? Such a gift would be sure to impress any lucky friend or family member. Hmm, 10 boxes. Seems rather excessive. But if one factors in the conqueror of demons and one's disciples... No. Hmm. No. No. Ten. A nice round number, don't you think? Of course you do. I'll even shave a little extra off the price for you. I'm going to cut that silver tongue out of here. That is agreeable. One will... Um, I will have these boxed up then. Of course, of course. Right away. I see you have quite the eye for fine items, mademoiselle. No! Perhaps no! Perhaps some of my wares no. might also be of interest to you. I will end you! Ugh. I'm a toy merchant from Fontaine. You'll get nothing but the finest and most intricate clockwork toys Mora can buy here. Each one sure to be a source of endless amusement. Hmm. Oh. Perhaps you could enlighten me then. When should said amusement be derived? 
Where? Well, uh, that is, yeah. of course, best understood by playing with them yourself. Yeah. If you could wait just a moment, I can bring one out and give you a demonstration. Look at that. <laughs> oh. It, there is no need for that. Uh, what? mademoiselle. Give me your newest and finest model. What? Be sure to package it securely. No! Ah, of course. Here you go. The instruction manual is... I can do without. Thank you. Oh, many watchful eyes surround this place. If one were to be spotted purchasing a mechanical toy such as this, a child's plaything, no less, it would only invite scandal. There is no harm in bringing it back to study in secret. <sighs> I should head back before she and you notice this. Naturally, one may not delight in social interactions, but that does not mean one lacks in faculties. Seems like Xian Yun is easily swayed into buying things. That box looks fit to burst already. And you too? Are you not here to purchase things? No, I'm good. I haven't had time yet. It doesn't look like there are any kite stalls around Elong Wharf, but it does look like there are lots of goods from Fontaine. You are also planning to participate in the kite flying competition, then? Yes, also. <clears throat> One means to say, you along with all the other youths. One has been entreated to share one's kite making expertise, and indeed, there was little one could do about such persistent supplication. One moment energetic and earnest, and ejected the next. What? One had no choice but to acquiesce to these requests. And thus, one will be organizing a kite-making workshop to provide personal instruction in this art form. Oh. Oh! Who will be participating then? Shu Yu, Shen He, Gan Yu, and Ya Yao. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, did you say Shen He? Wow, that's quite a few people. Also, this is all pretty well, Xian Yun, but it's not like you have to make your own kite to participate in the competition. You can't just buy one ready-made and call it a day. Where do I have to go? Huh. You speak of those equipped with the mechanical lifting device, do you not? <sighs> just nothing but a crude piece of mortal machinery. What? The mechanism that one has developed was the fruit of millennia, of meticulous study. Let us not speak of the source of the mechanism's power, but rather its structure. That's right. It's not about the power. Rather, it's about the structure. <clears throat> it is composed of materials as light as bamboo and as oh, strong yeah. as iron. That's right. This composition grants it the lightness of weight Whoa. to ascend into the sky yes. and the durability to follow the wind for many oh. a mile. That's right. It is built with a series of intersecting bars. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Never mind. It is unlikely the two of you will understand, even should one expend the effort to explain. Uh, one is better off saving one's breath. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay. It sure seems like you want to talk about it, though. So, will you be attending the workshop or not? Does a bear poop in the woods? Huh? Wait, you've been trying to invite us this entire time? Seems interessante. All right then. No need to prepare the materials in any case. One has it all sorted. Perfect. Arrive at Mount Altsong in two days. You got it. I shall be expecting you around midday. I'll show you midday. Are you leaving? Don't you want a guard to help you with that big box of yours? <laughs> <laughs> Surely you jest. One goes as one pleases. For what reason would one need to rely on another? Well, you could always rely on Paul. Uh, it can float? What kind of invention is that? So why didn't she just 
do that the whole time! One calls it the floating toting device. Why did Pyman need to wash the bed? Huh. She seems pretty proud of that one. Look at her walk down the street. She seems so confident. But everyone around her is looking at her all funny. Paimon wonders... Uh, never mind. But anyway, that box of hers seems to be full of those mechanical lifty thingamabobs. Uh-huh. Uh, not that Paimon was peeking or anything. She just... Uh, got a bit unsteady for a second and accidentally brushed the embroidery on top. Really? And wouldn't you know it? All the stuff inside almost came bursting out. Paimon huh. even went out of her way to keep it all together. So dance All Paimon say is that Shen Yun sure does try hard to save face. <laughs> she, <clears throat> she saved my face. What did she call it again? What? A crude piece of mortal machinery. You Paimon are a crude piece of mortal machinery. Take it apart and see how it's made. She would take me apart anyway. <clears throat> totally. We should probably act like we didn't see anything, though. You know, in consideration of her all right. feelings and all. <laughs> Shut up, Nova! <laughs> you just broke my focus! Cheese and rice! Nova on Twitch says, <laughs> I want to be the box. <laughs> ah! After all, that is the propriety with which one should comport oneself when it comes to an elder, right? She can be my elder. She can show me the world. Oh yeah! Quest completed! Kyra has never had dim sum at Shinua Kiosk before. What? It should be quite the feast for sure. Ooh, and that's my hot stomach right on cue telling her it's time to go find Pa-ha! Let's go! Oh! You're here early. I just ordered. The food should be out in a second. Uh, sit down, sit down. Let's all take a seat. Here, hand me your cups. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Wait, uh, uh, you weren't supposed to drink that, Paimon. See? Cheese and rice. To rinse your utensils. Huh. Not anymore! Not for you! As you talk, piping hot dim sum dishes arrive at the table one after another. As you talk, pi wait, wait. Ah, they just added a line. I thought they switched, but you know, whatever. And just when you think that all of the dishes have been delivered, the hostess brings over a generous bowl of seafood congee. What is that? Wow, oh. so much delicious food. Do you really eat all this just for breakfast? <laughs> That's just how we do it where I'm from. Wow. Most of the time, though, I don't eat lunch after dim sum. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good to hear. Paimon doesn't need to worry about holding back then. Like you ever hold back. Eat, eat. If it's not enough, we can always order more. Oh, and there's tong soy coming as well. I don't usually have that in the morning, but, well, since everyone's here, I just had to order it. I want to throw up. There's so much. What about much. you, Traveler? Is the food to your liking? Uh, want some more D seafood kanji? Let you me refill your bowl. Okay, well, hold on. I, I'm happy to do it myself, okay? Paimon's going to take you up on that. Fill it up nice and full and make sure she gets a few extra shrimp. Thanks. Have you no shame, Paimon? Everyone picks up the chopsticks and begins to dig in. Each dish tastes exquisite and uniquely flavorful. You slowly start to relax as you enjoy a pleasant conversation over a satisfying meal. This goes on until even Paimon can't eat another bite. I didn't know that was possible. <sighs> so full. That meal was so satisfying, it even gave Paimon some extra brain juice. Perfect. Oh, listen, listen. Paimon's figured it out. Figured what out? Let's think about this for a second, Gaming. You invited us to this awesome restaurant and ordered a whole table full of expensive dim sum just for the three of us. Well, you must be hiding the fact that you're some young master from a rich family. Oh. That would explain why you try to keep your friends and family away from each other. I see. 
<laughs> Are you confusing me with Xingqiu? I mean... Maybe. Huh? You know Xingqiu? You sure know a lot of people. Hmm... Well, when you're on the road as much as I am, you hear all sorts of rumors. Sometimes they're true, sometimes they're not. What it comes down to is being able to tell the difference. Oh. More often than not, that means knocking on some doors to find out for yourself. Oh, you truly are a man of many talents, young Master Gaming. Okay, okay, enough with the teasing. <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, Paimon, but you're wrong about my family situation. What? Oh, Paimon thought she was onto something there. My dad is just an ordinary tea merchant. Small scale stuff, you know? It wouldn't even make sense to mention his business in the same breath as the Feiyun Commerce Guild. My dad... He always wanted me to inherit the family business. To be a merchant like him. But that's just not who I am. That's not who I ever wanted to be. Gaming always seems so happy and carefree. This is the most serious I've ever seen him. This topic must be very important to him. Have you ever talked to him about it? You know, about your interests and aspirations and stuff. Yeah, you know, like, conversations, deep ones. Of course I have. I, I told him I wanted to be a wushou dancer. That I wanted all of Tavat to see what I could do. According to my dad, though, that wasn't a real job. Just a child's pipe dream. I'm sure he thought I would come around eventually, but wusho dancing has always been the only thing I wanted to do. One day, he tried to get me to visit some other tea merchants to start building the right relationships, but I refused to go. We got into a huge fight. We, we were this close to throwing hands. In the end, I was so angry that I, I ran away from home. I haven't been back since. Oh. Uh, don't get on my case just yet, okay? It's not like I think I'm completely without fault. No. I know that it wasn't the right way to go about things. But my dad's stubborn. No matter how hard I tried to convince him, it just went in one ear and out the other. There was no changing his mind. I knew talking would only get me so far, but... If I made it big in Liyue Harbor, the results could speak for themselves. Coming. But I'm sure you both already know how that's going. Wushou dancing's just not that big in Liyue Harbor. Yet! In the past, I would go door to door from store to store, asking if they would be interested in hiring a performer. Most times, I wound up eating nothing but humble pie. Oh, man. And you can't just rely on dreams to put food on the table, right? So I found a job as a guard to make some money. And now I have enough to get by and then some. Still, change takes time. Gotta take it slow, you know? Paimon understands. Okay, enough of all that serious talk. Our tea's getting cold. Ooh, let's do something fun this afternoon. What do you say, huh? I'll organize. Actually, we kinda already have plans this afternoon. Uh, this is a little awkward. We told Xian Yun that we would go to her kite making workshop. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right, we did. Oh? Are you interested in kite making, Gaming? Oh, no. It's just that I happen to know Auntie Xian Yun. Auntie Xian Yun? Look here! Auntie's in no way to dress a mighty and illuminate an adeptus. Okay, but. Hmm. That title certainly humanizes her a bit. I know. Oh, I know that she's an adeptus. I met her during a delivery once. Oh. But hasn't she been in the city lately? She's even tried, with some limited success, to change her terms of self-address or something like that. She came to see me a few days ago to ask about luminescent dyes. Oh, wait a second. She doesn't plan on putting those on a kite, does she? Mm -hmm. Is that not something you can do? It's one thing to use it on cloth, but applying it to paper is another matter entirely. Why couldn't she tell me what she wanted them for? Yeah, she does seem to have trouble with that sometimes. <laughs> it would be such a shame if everyone worked so hard on their kites only for them to get ruined in the end. Okay, I'll go with you. If Auntie Xianyun wants to use those dyes in a kite, the formula will need to be changed. 
Great! The more the merrier! All right! The Cloud Sea Appeal, brilliance revealed. <laughs> Can we be more than <clears throat> uh Hello. Yeah yeah, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> so good to see you. Con <clears throat> uh, you Oh, I have some mint oil. Perhaps we should try that. I'll take some. You could just <clears throat> A guest at Wan Mean restaurant recommended it to me. I've tried it. Where? Its stimulative I mean, effects are much stronger than what, what, can what be is stimulant from chewing on mint leaves alone. Oh, really? Okay. Hmm. It just looks Apologies like she's sleeping. You know, you don't ever have to apologize to me. Wait, Shenha, not there. What? You see Shen now take out a small green bottle, extract some minty smelling liquid, and apply it to Ganyu's horns. Yaya and Paimon look on in shock. Mouths agape, but cannot stop her in time. <coughs> see? It worked. She's awake. Yeah, everything's fine. <clears throat> Are you okay, Ganyu? Do you need some water? Or, or maybe something to eat? I... I'm fine. I just feel chilly all over. It's COVID. <laughs> it's COVID. Huh. Was it that effective? Chilly, huh? Mm, a master always says a cool head leads to a calm heart. So does this mean that heat's what we need to help you, Ganyu? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, that's I it up. think that's what the expression means exactly. Really, Pyman? Because I mean, I I thought. <sighs> I I feel a bit better now. Ah, oh, well, that was quick. Was I asleep? Must have been around the time I usually take my midday nap. Ha! <laughs> totally get it. Midday naps are the best. Did you not sleep last night? That does seem to happen to you often. I know who could help me sleep. <clears throat> Perhaps you should come work at Wan Mean Restaurant with I'll me. I'll work there. We get off at ten on the dot every night. I could use some extra mora. I... I could never. Ganyu's already too busy. I'm sorry. I seem to have missed your name. You are... <laughs> Me? My name is Gaming. I work as a guard for the Secure Transport Agency. Oh, they're cute. Gaming. The name sounds familiar. Gaming and Ganyu? I believe I've heard your name Gigi? mentioned around the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Oh, yeah. Y'all just head over there. Shenna and I got some business to take care of. People tell me you're an not extremely too good. enthusiastic worker, and you are very generous with your help. What? Uh, well, you know me. <laughs> or, uh, I guess you don't. <laughs> My name is Ganyu. This is Shenha, and this is Yao Yao. Yao Yao's so cute! It's an honor to finally meet you all. Oh, you must be here for Auntie Shen Yun's kite-making workshop, right? Yes. Oh. I have neither made nor flown a kite before. As long as Master is willing to teach, I am willing to learn. Can you teach me? Me too! I want to participate in the kite flying competition with my best friend! You're so cute! Plus, it's more meaningful if you make the kite yourself, right? Yeah, but I don't want it. Your best friend didn't come with you? Well... Chi Chi's been super busy helping Dr. Baiju lately. Aww. I'll meet up with her later. Oh, she's best friends with Chi Chi? Oh, I also brought bandages and ointment with me today. It's easy to cut yourself when working with bamboo, so I thought I should come prepared. Good job. Wow, you're really thoughtful. As for myself, I'm afraid I lack some of my companion's enthusiasm. I was originally planning to buy a ready-made kite and just enjoy the festive city atmosphere with everyone. I get that. I'm on board with that. But Cloud Retainer is always going out of her way to look after her juniors, wanting us to have the best there is. She always puts us before herself. Huh. It was so thoughtful of her to arrange this workshop. 
so I simply couldn't let such consideration go to waste. My motivation for being here might be a little different, yes. But I'm ready to put in just as much effort as everyone else. Well, we're all here. But where the heck is Xin Yun? Shouldn't she be here by now? Who is it that speaks <laughs> of oneself in such an ill-tempered tone? <clears throat> Paimon! <laughs> Come on, you clearly heard Paimon! <laughs> Master stopped to buy grilled tiger fish to share with everyone. Oh. Come get it while it's still warm. Okay! Uh oh, Paimon, sorry, Miss Illuminated Bird! Yeah. I always knew you were the yeah. Smartest, yeah. yeah. You better kiss, kiss up. That's so right. Uh huh. Yeah. Well. Shay listening. <laughs> Cloud Retainer sets down her bags while she hands out the grilled fish. As everyone begins to talk, lively conversation fills the usually tranquil environment at Mount Alcheng. <sighs> so delicious. Paimon's life is complete. All you do is eat. You're like a walking. Never mind. Flying. Hmm. Floating. It appears that we've ended up with quite a few participants indeed. Go ahead and divide yourselves into small groups. Shenha! The materials are over here. The regular dyes and luminescent ones have been clearly marked. Use them as you see fit. Shenha! As for how to make the kite, one assumes you all made sure to listen to the instructions one provided while we were eating. What yes. instru- What? Are there any questions? Well... I'll figure it out. Paimon may have focused a It'll little be fine. too hard on the eating and less on the listening. You know what? I'm gonna be the one making it anyways. Paimon knew she could count on you, Traveler! One will wait under this tree and avail oneself of the cool air while one digests. Oh. Do not hesitate to seek one's company if you have any trouble, questions, Shana. or simply want to chat. Shanna, please! We're not in any hurry to get started. Why don't we go see what the others are up to? I'll go see what Shanha's up to. You go somewhere. Um, Shanha, it would be great if you could refrain from putting things on my horns from now on. They're really quite sensitive. I did not intentionally walk past coming to go see Shenha. If that is what you're thinking, it just so happens that uh, the wind from Shen Yun's aura just kind of pushed me in that direction, and I was just so like, I was like, ah, you know, and here I am eavesdropping, whatever. <clears throat> I see. My apologies. I shall remember that in the future. Thank you. No harm done. Good. Could I touch them just once more, though? No Absolutely. oil or anything this time. Really? I've I just mean... I've always wondered what Miss Ganyu's horns feel like. And there's only one way to find out, you know? Huh? Please, I told you. Just call me Ganyu. <sighs> First name basis. <sighs> All right. Just be gentle. <laughs> just be... Be gentle, Shin, huh? Hmm. Oh. Firm to the touch with no discernible temperature. Oh, not unlike certain medicinal plants I've eaten before. <laughs> oh, still, Ganyu appears to be shaking like a cat whose whiskers have just been touched. I should stop. Ha! Ha! That's good! You read the room right! Uh. <clears throat> oh, I see. Then I'll apply the oil to your forehead next time. Yeah! We can always try other places. Oh, no need. I'll just refrain from taking afternoon naps outdoors. <laughs> yeah, don't don't do that. <laughs> Bad things can happen. Anyway, you know. We should probably get started on our kite. It what? won't be long before Cloud Retainer comes to check on our progress. I have horns. Shenna, if you want if you wanna Perhaps Perhaps we should just choose the most traditional style. Okay. Oh, they seem to be getting along swimmingly. Let's not disturb them. What? What? I could have been a part of that. Unbelievable. Y'all got anything else to say? <clears throat> Auntie Cloud Retainer, look. Am I doing it right? Hmm, very good. Your frame is nice and sturdy. This design, is it a finch? <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, you are way too. <laughs> One is looking forward to seeing your finished product. No, not anytime soon. What color are you going to make it, Yao Yao? Um, I haven't decided yet. If I make it blue, it'll be more like my friend. But if I make it gold, it'll be more like me. If you are asking for one's own opinion, one would advise choosing gold. When giving a gift, the key consideration is the recipient's feelings, is it not? One imagines your friend would much prefer a kite that reminds them of you. Oh, hey, I never told you the kite was for Chi-Chi. How did you know? <gasps> With age comes wisdom, child. One simply has a way of knowing things. Oh, cool. <laughs> Thanks, Auntie Cloud Retainer. I'm gonna start painting it gold right now. Good. One will watch. You two seem strangely unoccupied. What? One was under the impression that one was supposed to be doing the relaxing. What? Is your kite finished? Can you help me finish my kite? Actually, haven't started yet, but I'm <clears throat> going to start uh, right now. <laughs> Pami, you didn't have to say that. Hey, coming. Want to team up? Huh? But I have to participate? I thought I'd be done for the day after adjusting the dye formula. You're that unenthused by kite making, huh? That doesn't seem like you. No, it's not that. It's just uh, it would take too long to explain. I guess I'll just make one then. Dang. Hmm, what shape should we go with? How about a butterfly? The butterfly symbolizes the desire for freedom. Perhaps that's also what Gaming's searching for. Look at the traveler's intuition. That's right, all up here. What do you think, Shuya? Is there a particular design you want? I want a swanee. A what? Uh, that might be a little hard to pull off. What is that? True. But I still want to try. They're super cute. <laughs> okay, it's decided then. But what about what Gaming wants? First, we have to decide on the shape. Hey, what are you laughing at? What? The obvious answer is to make a pyman shaped kite. Ah! Perfect! Oh, that's not a completely crazy idea. Narcissist! If nothing else, a paimon shaped kite could at least make sure you never get lost on your travels and always find the tastiest food and funnest things to do. I wanted some resistance. Go. That's the last thing I needed. I don't know why. Maybe we're not exercising enough artistic license. Ooh, we should exaggerate this a bit. How about this? The word paimon means the guardian angel of travelers. You build the kite's frame according to Cloud Retainer's instructions. <laughs> That's how big Pop and really is, all that eating. What expression should we give her? Since the kite is going to be flying super high in the sky. I don't know. What about. She should look guilty about something. Uh, Something like this? I don't know. Pretty tired. I feel like I have to do everything. That's one! Now that we've decided, let's make it happen! Woo! <sighs> it's done! Paimon has to say, Kai Paimon might even rival real Paimon in terms of cuteness! <laughs> Now we just have to attach the string, right? Yeah. All right. Gather around, everyone. But we're not done! I gotta put my string on it! Oh! Shinyan's calling us! But hold, hold on! We gotta put the string! Hmm. Let one take a look. Bet you're so excited to see my masterpiece. <laughs> wow. Ganyu and Shenha made a scissor tailed swallow. It's so pretty. Aww. Yep. 
The coloring makes it look a lot like Master. If the tail wasn't split in two like that, it might even be a spitting image. Uh, if you look closely, there are a few spots where the colors go outside the lines. Did you doze off while painting it, Ganyu? Paimon! I did the painting. Oh. I stared at the paper for quite some time, but I simply could not recall the coloring of any bird. <laughs> Except Master. It's perfect, Shinto. I, I, honestly, Paimon spoke out of line. I, I know you're excited to see our kite because it... Uh, honestly, that's the face that Paimon has right now. Or should I say that I'm too familiar with her crane form? Even when she stands before us in human form, all I can see is blue and white. And all I see is a guy... <clears throat> Are you ready? You ready oh. to see ours? Well, now that you huh? mention it, Paimon can see it too! Yeah, what? Exactly. So I simply closed my eyes and painted from memory. No way. You, you, you can, can paint, paint me with from your eyes closed? <clears throat> wow, the disciples of Adepti really are something. You are most filial, Shen He. One what? is flattered by the likeness. What? Can you speak English? The swanee that Gaoming and Shu Yu made looks very majestic. I'm sure it'll look even more impressive as it soars through the sky. <laughs> That's right. The eyes and ears glow in the dark, so you're sure to see it at night. Your golden finch is cute too, Yao Yao. What about ours? <laughs> it's all thanks to Auntie Cloud Retainer's guidance. What about ours? What about your kite, Traveler? <laughs> you ready for it? <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> Perfect! Best kite! That is the best kite! <laughs> Very Paimon-like indeed. Right? <laughs> Why do you say that, Shen, huh? Ah, Shen, uh, we on the same page. <laughs> that one time the traveler suspected that a piece of meat was missing from their bowl, that was the exact expression on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Good memory! <laughs> Is that something that happened? I knew it! Is that the Jade Chamber? Uh, yes, it is. Oh. But that's one that we could have bought. Oh. Who dares attempt such a flagrant display of impropriety by releasing a kite into one's territory without one's permission? I don't know, but we can investigate it together. Oh, and to do so by making use of this? Crude piece of mortal machinery. I know, right? <sighs> One simply must know who it is oh! that possesses such impertinence. Don't do that! You just shattered my hopes and dreams. Continue attaching the strings, everyone. One will be but a moment. You're a bird, and I'm not a bird. Cloud retainer, traveler, Paimon. What? Could I trouble you to go after Cloud retainer? Sure, she can fly. I can't. Absolutely not a problem. Master's going to be okay, right? I'm more worried about the person who released the kite. There's wind up ahead! Looks like we can glide over! Useful. Very useful. Hmm. This Fontanian device of mechanical motion is quite curious indeed. Oh, it was Mooncarver. Now is hardly an opportune time for your musings. Someone among us was not sufficiently attentive, and now the kite has vanished. Calm yourself. Do you have any recollection of its last location? One believes it drifted in the direction of Mount Outsong. 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 Perhaps it is mere happenstance, but one feels a certain sense of dread at the thought. <laughs> <laughs> dread! <laughs> Perfect. Your concern is misplaced, surely. Oh, yeah. I don't know about that. Cloud Retainer is either in the city looking after her disciples, or secluded in her abode attending to her research. She will not notice that kite. I'm I'm sorry. Moon Carver is voiced by the Traveler's voice actor? Are you serious? What? That broke my focus. What? Now that is what we call a voice actor. I would have never figured that out. If he could just talk like that more often, 
You know, I mean, how funny would it be if he talked like that with the traveler? As the traveler, he'd be like, <clears throat> "Come here, Byman." <laughs> I was like, oh, "Okay, <laughs> right." Like, huh. <clears throat> on the subject of said kite, however, one simply must remark on the genius of its windless lift technology. One cannot help but surmise that its ingenuity rivals that of Cloud Retainer's creations. I... I can't believe this. Ah, uh, What? Still thy tongue. If Cloud Retainer were to hear you <laughs> Still profess exact. such a thing, Jeez we can right. both say farewell to we're trying to play game here. the Supreme Cuisine Machine. One presumes ah! that this kite belongs to you. Huh? Regard the situation with which we are now confronted. This is all your fault. Be cool. Be cool. One's fault. One seems to recall that releasing the kite was no solitary endeavor. Say something, Mountain Shaper. <laughs> Surely you can think of something to appease her. Come on, man! Further explanation shall only fan the flames of her wrath. It would be better to stay silent and retire at the earliest opportunity. <laughs> We can hardly avoid her forever. That may suffice during Lantern Rite. But what about the Moon Chase Festival? Sooner or later, she will discover our true identity. <sighs> Hello? Go retrieve the kite. <laughs> Absolutely not. You retrieve it. You step up! You do it! I'm not going over there. That I'm... is not our kite. <laughs> that is not! Oh. So an adeptus such as oneself huh. is mistaken, then? Huh. Ah, you're an adeptus? Please forgive us for any impropriety. Huh. Huh. I truly possess no inkling of who could have released a kite into your esteemed domain. Nope. Pray, who could be responsible for such wanton behavior? Verily, verily, we were but delighting in the surrounding scenery. Yep. This locale is home to such exquisite... Uh, ah, mint! Yes! It's beautiful out here. Well, and if that's all, then we'll just be on our way. Huh. We finally caught up. Huh. You sure do fly fast in your illuminated bird form, Tianyin. Moon Carver? Mountain Sheep? Pa! What are you doing here? Pardon! You... That's literally almost 100% of the time, Paimon. It is of no consequence. Ha! Long has one seen through their disguises. One was simply curious as to how long they would keep up the act. Then you are not angry? Hm. How could one feel anger at the sight of two old friends enjoying themselves? <laughs> so one is also well aware of how enticing these city novelties can be. Is she being understanding? We were simply consumed by a fit of festive spirit. Seldom do we get the opportunity to partake in the delights of the times. However, we are far from being as adept as you in matters that require a deftness of hand. No worthy kite could be born of our own making. Thus, we could only take the convenient route, so to speak. Your prowess in mechanics is unparalleled, Cloud Retainer. You wield the wind and waves themselves. Your singular talent stands unmatched across the land. Of this, we are well aware. Okay, Zach is not allowed to talk like this. Okay. I have a lot going on right now. Like this, can, if you could just... Why did you tell me that? <sighs> One has guests to attend to. We will have to convene again some other time. Traveler, Paimon, do try to keep up. Yes, ma'am. Wait! Get up, bird! I'm not! We're leaving already? Oh, all this flying from place to place is wearing Paimon out! Really? Are you about to get hungry? You want to eat some more? They're back. I hope you weren't waiting too long. <gasps> Paimon's pooped. Uh, hi! Why are there only two of you left? 
Why are you asking that question? This is fine. After you left, Yao Yao and Shu Yu tired themselves out playing with their kites. Gao Ming offered to escort them home. Before he left, he said something that I don't quite understand. Oh? What did he say? He said, A kite is always tied down no matter how far it flies or how high it soars. Its tether prevents it from ever truly flying free. Dang. That's deep. He looked quite dejected as he said this. Now that you mention it, Gaoming did seem to have a rather strange attitude towards kites. Let me put on my intuitive hat. You'll see. Perhaps he sees himself reflected in them. A reflection of himself? Yes. Oh, if I were a kite, I would cherish that tether as a symbol of kinship and yeah. the bonds that tie us and... Yeah, you can tie... I'll be your tether. Shenha? Shut up, Harmon. <clears throat> it may be an exceedingly slim and distant connection. Doesn't have to be. But lose it. And you lose that which links you to home. That's right, so come home. If Gaming truly sees a kite as a reflection of himself... Oh, that's right, we're talking about Gaming. Sorry. Then I fear I understand his words even less. Well, people often have different points of view depending on their mindset and experiences, right? It's actually quite normal. Look at you, sounding human by the second. Just like some people can eat spicy food, but others won't go anywhere near it? I mean... Exactly. That's why tolerance and understanding are as important as they are. You can tolerate me, right? Uh, tolerance and understanding? What brought about this conversation? <clears throat> Did one miss something? I don't know if I can handle this right now. We were just chatting. You don't have to butt in on every little thing, you know. Shut up, Parvin! Anyway. She can butt in anytime she wants. One was merely doing a bit of cooking. What are you cooking? Night fast approaches. If you are otherwise unoccupied, I'm hungry. one would entreat I'm hungry. you to stay and eat before I'll stay. you depart. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, no place I'd rather it's be. It's been so long since I've had the chance to enjoy your cooking, Fat yeah, Retainer. Say. Uh. What? Worry not. One has prepared a variety of meat and vegetable dishes. One is more than familiar with everyone's uh, culinary proclivities. Don't worry. <laughs> Shannon is going to learn how to enjoy it. <clears throat> so, we'll take you up. Shenha, Ganyu, come with me. Whoa, what's with all the secrecy? You're not trying to play favorites, are you? If you're ready to serve the food, we can help too. Shut up, Hyman. Feel the wind brushing against my legs. This is a bit embarrassing. Is the headpiece secure? I should have asked Cloud Retainer to check before I stepped outside. How do we look? Huh. She asked them just like that? <clears throat> yeah, you look great. You look pretty too, Gan you? Oh, how should Paimon put it? Uh, you both look so elegant and refined. Those outfits really suit you both. I said yes. I said yes. Till that's the part. Given that one employ the services huh. of the best tailor in all of Liyue, one would expect nothing less. Can, can you tailor me? What colors have you been partial to lately, Shenhe and Ganyu? Lately? Why is Cloud Retainer suddenly asking about what colors we like? <clears throat> I like black. What? One is gratified like black, to see huh? one's disciple has inherited <laughs> yeah. one's own tastes. 
Good. I, I knew she had that good taste. You know what I mean? The color black doesn't get dirty <clears throat> easily. That's right. The virtue I've come to value recently. <clears throat> black don't crack. And you, Ganyu? I favor blue and black. Sounds a little painful, but, you know. And the material ah! is sufficiently comfortable, yes? Yes, very. I simply cannot thank you enough, Cloud Retainer, for this gift, and the kite, too. Thank you, Cloud Retainer. Thank you, Master. <laughs> thank you. So much. One is content, as long as you are pleased with the gift. Her. One hopes these garments will see much use. Yes. Yes, they will. <clears throat> Seems like your supreme cuisine machine is just getting better and better, Xianyan! Oh, we... <clears throat> this golden crab's particularly good. The shell's deliciously crunchy, and the meat inside is so succulent and sweet! <laughs> Paimon can't stop eating! Good. Uh... It's a good thing Ga Ming isn't here, or Paimon would have to duel him for the food. You know, with chopsticks. It would be a close match. He traveled all this way on account of the kite-making workshop, and he spent the whole afternoon looking after Shu Yu. One was hoping to treat him to a meal. Aww, do you miss him? <sighs> oh, well. One will just have to extend one's thanks in person. Exactly. It's rare for someone to make such a good impression on you, Cloud Retainer. Huh. One has high standards. He appears to be a young man of much merit, and one is not the type who would see such potential squandered. Yeah. You gonna help Gaming reach his true potential? That's right. Better listen to your elders. Do as they say. It appears that he wishes to break free from the kite string that tethers him. But you can't break from our tether. Remember that, Shinta. Kite string? Huh. What <clears throat> strange metaphors you speak in, Shenha. Ever since you returned from one mean restaurant, your turns of phrase render one at quite the loss. <clears throat> Where do we even begin? Oh, do you know about the conflict between Ga Ming and his dad, Xin Yin? What? One has only heard that the two are not on good terms. He ran away from home and hasn't been back since. Oh? Ran away, you say? Huh. One believes we would all benefit from a more thorough retelling. Start from the beginning. You don't have to do that. Oh, okay. Paimon just hopes he won't mind. Really? Paimon tells Cloud Retainer everything she knows about Gummy's what? family situation. I know! This shall not do. I know! Lantern Rite fast approaches. We must make haste. Okay! So, am I gonna fly on you? Can I, can I jump on you? <laughs> As one was contacting various tailors around Liyue, one could not help but be reminded of Minogius. I don't know who that is, but He possessed hey. a singular talent for clothing design. He right. had an exquisite eye, not just for fabric selection and color pairing, okay. but also for what accessories could best accentuate a garment's overall styling. Okay, look, if you're gonna change your bird, can I jump on you? Okay. At a gathering of Adepti, Bonanus once complained in secret to some of the ladies in attendance that the skirt Minogius made for her was too long and impractical, lamenting that it would only hinder her in battle. What about you, Shenha? How are you traveling? However, when one asked Minogius' opinion, he remarked that the train of the skirt would serve to enhance her adepto countenance by exemplifying a certain elegance. Minogius was that type of person. When it came to topics relating to garments and accessories, not even Rex Lapis could best his stubbornness. Okay, I can be the kite, you can be the tether, okay? Don't let go. And later... <clears throat> uh, one seems to have strayed off topic. Shenha, um... One means to say that Lantern Rite should be a day of reunion. You're right, Shen, you You're right. But Shenha, listen, uh, sorry, Gondu. <clears throat> it is a time to address problems before they turn into regrets. I hear you. But fate is fickle. 
The cruel reality of this world is that suffering and misfortune can befall any of us without design or reason. If there is a chance for young people to remain insulated from this reality, one should do one's utmost to make it so. I hear you. I think. Uh, but Chen Ha, That's just... nice and all, but... We're try trying to cover the logistics. Parman, shut up. Listen. Do you uh, have any ideas, Cloud Retainer? I feel like... Hmm. I'm getting ignored. Perhaps adeptal arts could be of use. Oh, no, no. Mechanics, perhaps. Hmm. One fails to see its use in a situation such as this. Is there anything I can do to help? Uh, wh whatever Shenha it plans on doing to help, I will assist her with. Hmm. Combining our efforts is a fine idea indeed. Oh yeah. Ha! I don't know if we can handle that, but we can try. You know, no harm in trying. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. One has an idea. Yes, I'll do it. How about this? Okay. Does that make sense to everyone? Yes. What? Oh, Paimon really hopes this works. Oh, it will. Hmm. One's designs never fail. That's right. Now then, I counsel rest for all. But and to make the necessary preparations. I don't know. I shall see you in two days. I feel like I miss out on some key details. Oh! Quest completed! Gaming! My man! <laughs> Hi, Gaming! Paimon sees you've certainly gotten an early start this morning. Playing games already, are we? Right? Who won this time? You the one buying dim sum again? Yeah. Hey, when you put it like that, it makes it sound like I'm always the one losing. Yeah, Paimon. Oh, perfect, you're all here. Huh? There's an important commission I need your help with. What? All right, I've got the time. Where are the goods? Well, it's not just goods this time. I need you to escort a tea merchant and their wares from Chaoying Village to Liyue Harbor. A very important client has requested to meet with him. Sure. Uh, what's this merchant's address? Here. Uh, uh... Don't tell me it's his father. If the client's that important, then this must be a very crucial, very pressing commission, right? Um, of course, the sooner you complete it, the better. I would advise you to depart as soon as possible. That's fine by me! I have no idea who it is! It's totally not his father! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, don't work too hard now, Long Joe. We'll set off there. Yeah, don't work too hard, Long. <laughs> Working hard and long, you know, that's... <laughs> Whoa. You're a bit quiet today, Gaming. Oh, do you want Paimon to tell a story? Uh, we're almost there. I'll take a rain check on that. Hello. You must be the tea merchant heading to Liyue Harbor. We're here to escort you. Hmm. Oh. Dad? <sighs> oh, so you're Gaming's father. It's nice to meet you. Just leave this delivery to him. Trust Paimon, he's got this in the bag. Gaming is super good at what he does. Also, why does Gaming look so incredible and his dad is so average? Like, average Joe, so boring. Where did you get your good looks? Your mother must be beautiful. Everyone at the Secure Transport Agency says as much. Even the Ministry of Civil Affairs has nothing but good things to say about him. Seems like you've made some sort of name for yourself, at least. <sighs> the... the goods are all in order? Yes, they're all here. Then let's get going. <clears throat> I... a very... I don't, client has asked for you I don't, by name. I really don't like this. Come with us. I don't, you know, there's, there's a lot of tension. You know, it's it's making me itch. Paimon doesn't know how we would explain ourselves if you just didn't show up. Plus, you'd be missing out on a huge money-making opportunity. I see. I suppose I will have to trouble you all to escort me, then. Let's go. 
for so long. Is anyone tired? How about we stop and rest for a bit? Why? Uh, I'm fine. Okay, good. Let's keep going. Oh my gosh, Pyman, you extrovert. Fine. Thank you. Uh, I do have Baizu. But the winter melon cake he gave us last time was so delicious. Have you ever tried it before, Mr. Ip? <sighs> Andrew! On. Thank you so much for the follow. This place looks nice and open. Why don't you all rest here for a second? Huh? What about you? You're not going to join us? I'm not tired. I'll keep watch. Oh, but... Just let him go. <sighs> this is so awkward! Okay, we'll just share amongst ourselves then. Did you know, Uncle Ip, that the flavor of these cakes changes depending on... Halt! Ha! Ah! Who goes there? What? Yo, why my man look like Sora? It appears that one's movements were overly conspicuous. Maybe he's the real father! Look at his hair! Enough of your musings. Focus. Focus on the matter at hand. Present your exquisite ornaments at once. Indeed. Bring them forth readily and without protest. Totally don't know these two. Ah! Uh, what do we do? I don't know. It seems as if these two are acting alone. It won't be difficult to subdue them, but they might have something else waiting in store for Dad. The best way to keep him safe is- Come on, Sora! Leave this to me. I'll handle them. Traveler, Paimon, take my dad and the goods away from here. Okay. No, coming. It's too dangerous. This is what I do. A thorny foe indeed. Oh -ho. Let us depart. And seek a target softer in blows and disposition. I don't know what he said. Uh-uh. Don't think I'm gonna let you off so easily. Yeah. Away. Oh. Let us away. Ah! Coming. Wait. Don't worry. He's a great fighter. He's definitely gonna die without your help. Paimon's even seen him take down a dozen or so treasure hoarders all by himself. But with you here, he's definitely gonna die. But coming, I... You should go help him. If he had just stayed by my side and learned a family trade, he wouldn't have to put himself in such dangerous situations. And now you're about to have a dead son because you're too busy thinking about these things. We just have to trust him. Let's go on ahead. We'd best get away from here in case there are other bandits in the area waiting in ambush. Or you can show off your prowess because he's a chip off the old block and you can fight too secretly. All is going to plan. <gasps> plan. Okay, we should be good to stop here. Young Lee? Oh no, what is he doing here? Song Li Good sir, please, listen to me. Reel in your line and leave this place as quickly as you can. There are bandits in the area. Bandits? Acting in broad daylight? <clears throat> Zongli. <laughs> Oh. Yes. <coughs> ah, I see. Yup. It appears many people are catching a chill as of late. Mm -hmm. If your throat is bothering you, Paimon, <coughs> perhaps some tea and rest are in order. Yes. Uh, with you? Uh, nope, no need, no need. Paimon's <coughs> fine. She nope. Just Come on, you're you're feeling down. Your cake? Really? Must have figured it all out by now. Is he just playing dumb on purpose? If there are indeed bandits in the area, then we should inform the Millilith at once. 
Yeah, uh, but we don't need to do that. The guard that was escorting us is already on their tail. Oh? Yep. Well, if that's the case... I know. <laughs> such matters are best left to those with the necessary expertise, wouldn't you agree? Yes, 100%. <sighs> I suppose you're right. If ordinary people like us got involved, we would only cause more trouble. Since we find ourselves otherwise unoccupied in this beautiful area, why don't we find a quiet place to relax while we wait for good news? Hmm... That would be lovely. So, uh, Uncle Ip does have a reason to be worried. After all, Ga Ming, the guard we mentioned, is his son. Ga Ming... The name sounds somewhat familiar. Ah, yes. That is the name of the Usho dancer who has been performing around Liyua Harbor recently, is it not? You know of him! Oh, have you seen him perform? Indeed. I cannot help but admire his skill. He truly encapsulates the spirit of the Suani. Usho dancing has become more well known in Liyua Harbor recently. However, although performers are seeing budding success, they have no doubt had to face many hurdles along the way. One's not so easily understood by spectators such as ourselves. If you ask me, what truly deserves admiration is perseverance in the face of adversity. That is a rare attribute indeed. I have heard many of my acquaintances praise Gumming for his kind, selfless, and courageous disposition. To have a child so accomplished and upright, you must be a very proud parent indeed, Uncle Lip. Yeah. Seems Uncle! Seems like has decided to skip the formalities. Uh, well, he... He's a hard <clears throat> worker. Yes. Yeah. You should be sure to tell him you think that when he gets back. I... <clears throat> Your son is young yet. It's normal for someone his age to be a bit... hot-headed. It's understandable to find talking about such things in person difficult. If there's a particular sentiment you wish to convey, perhaps we could pass it along for you. No, no. It wouldn't be right to ask that of you. <sighs> this thing between us has festered for many years now. In truth, there are some things that simply aren't easy for us to talk through. I've been in the tea business for most of my life, and I always hoped my child would do the same. Otherwise, how would he support himself? Over the past few years, I heard how well he was doing for himself as a guard. How his work was taking him to farther and farther off places. I also heard that he never gave up on wushou dancing. It made me happy, but I was also worried. When you're young, you can handle all that physically taxing work and manual labor. What young person isn't capable of making a living that way? My concern is what happens when you get old. Every time I get to thinking like that, I cannot help but be reinforced in the belief that I was right. That I was right not to give in. I often regret introducing him to Wu Show dancing as a kid. Wow. If I had known how things would turn out, I would have never taken him to see those performances in the first place. Seriously? So you introduced it to him, he fell in love with it, wants to do it, and you're upset about it. Unbelievable. It is only natural for a parent to strive to send their child down the right path. No one would begrudge you that sentiment, Uncle Ip. You need not worry. You seem quite young, Mr. Zhongli. Yet you speak with such wisdom. Perhaps I have misjudged your age. Oh, you have. <laughs> your words are too kind. Truth be told, one of my old friends has several grown daughters. Rather than fretting about their future, however, she prefers to let them find their own way. Then she's more easygoing than I could ever be. I fear I lack such an open mind. 
Uh, oh, I meant to say earlier, there is no need to be so polite. Uh, feel free to call me by my name, Ipdak. Sure. So, do you also think I fret too much, Mr. Zhongli? <sighs> That's not exactly what I was hoping to convey. Only a fool would ask a parent not to worry about their child. But think of it this way. Raising a child is not unlike flying a kite. Hold the string too tight, and it can no longer soar. Huh. As my friend once said, if your children are aiming for the stars, clipping their wings will only cause them to come crashing down. You need to let out the line for a kite to soar. <sighs> it seems I was too stuck in my ways. You need not reproach your heart for caring. You simply need to loosen your hold a little. Indeed, with such a big heart, why not allocate the time you usually spend worrying about Gaming to the pursuit of other things? Like going for a stroll, drinking tea, or taking in the scenery. You never know what surprises could be in store. Things can change in the blink of an eye. <laughs> the blink of an eye, you say? Do things change so quickly? Children grow up in quite the same way, do they not? Day after day, year after year, sometimes in the blink of an eye, but always when you least expect it. As a father, I'm sure you know that best. <laughs> yes, you can say that again. One second Gaming was a kid, the next thing I knew, he was ready to fly the nest. Xiang Li certainly has a way with words. Yeah. Dad, Traveler, Paimon. Good, you're all here. Oh, and Mr. Zhongli from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? You're here too? <laughs> A fated meeting indeed. We were just enjoying some pleasant conversation. Uh, <clears throat> is everything resolved? Well, you could say that. What does that mean? Traveler, Paimon, come with me. I need to talk to you. Uh-oh. <coughs> uh. Hmm. Uh? Oh, okay. Uh, we're actually kind of busy at the moment. I'll come right out and say it. Those two bandits, you sent them, didn't you? What? <gasps> me? I would never... Unbelievable that you could accuse me of such a thing. I thought we were friends. Can't look me in the eye, huh? I guess I'm right then. Okay, but how did you know? At first, their mannerisms seemed a bit stilted. But once I got close, it was obvious that they possessed great skills. I was right on their tail, and it should have taken only a few steps to catch up to them, yet somehow, I was never able to close that distance. People with that level of skill would have gone about things differently from the start, like sneaking up on us while we were distracted. So perceptive. Unless, of course, their real motive was to lure me away from the group all along. Wow, you're pretty quick on the uptake. I don't know what he's talking about. I just have a lot of experience. I've dealt with many a ruthless bandit in my time, but I've never seen ones like them. In the end, I told them they would make good guards if they ever wanted to get back on the straight and narrow, and that they could hang out with me and Lee Yu Harbor anytime. Uh, you ever consider you might be a little too good at making friends? I'm guessing you guys were trying to help resolve things between my dad and me. <laughs> what? No, we would never interfere with other people's problems. We have not been doing that for years. And in several nations. <sighs> what? I appreciate it. I, I really do. I, nothing to appreciate. But this conflict between us has been going on for a long time. Even if those two were real bandits and I was able to subdue them and show them what I was capable of, it, it wouldn't change anything. 
You've seen the way he talks to me. <clears throat> it's not like that at all! Your dad really cares about you. You should see the way he talks about you when you're not around. Zhang Li was talking things through with him, and he nearly agreed to let it go. <sighs> you don't believe us? He won't let it go. He can say as much as he wants to other people, but he won't talk to me. I'm certain of it. And you? Will you talk to him? <sighs> you told huh? us you wanted to prove yourself to your dad. Yeah. Why don't you tell him about all the hard work you've done these past few years? Yeah. Why don't you just dance in front of him? Show him your moves. Will that even do anything? I mean, I don't, I'm not sure talking know. is enough. Only one way to... No, and that's, you know, for you to try. I'm just saying. You won't know unless you try. Just like how you won't Get out of my head, Pyman! delicious unless you taste it. Listen to us. It's time to put these people skills to good use. You can make friends with anyone, so why not your dad? Yeah. You know? <clears throat> uh, good luck, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> You are very knowledgeable, Mr. Zhang Li. I'm impressed. Despite my being in the tea industry for several decades, it seems, I still have much to learn about the art of tea tasting. You flatter me. It was nothing but a few <laughs> humble musings. How much tea have you drank since we've been gone? It's not like it was alcohol. <laughs> Ipduck and I have found many a common interest. Our friendship, much like a cup of tea, seems to grow stronger the longer it has to steep. Well said, Mr. Zhongli. Gaming, Mr. Zhongli is very knowledgeable. You should take the opportunity to learn from people like him when you're in the city. Huh? Oh, uh, of course. Look at that! I'll just start a conversation. <clears throat> Zhang Li? I have very much enjoyed our conversation, Ipdak. Yeah, you want to go I show us your unfortunately have some uh, unfinished abilities. funeral parlor business to attend to. Yep. Oh, I, I hope I didn't keep you. My apologies for taking up so much of your time, Mr. Zhang Li. No need to stay on my account. When you're less busy, let's find the time to meet. I'll treat you to dim sum. It would be an honor. We'll see you off, Zhang Li. You two have a nice chat, all right? You got this. Thanks for helping us talk things through with Uncle Ip. Good thing you were able to pick up on what we were putting down. Huh? I have been around the both of you for some time now. You could say I have a certain level of expertise in that regard. As for my role in the conversation, think nothing of it. I hardly did anything noteworthy. I mean, you're no noteworthy, but, you know. <clears throat> <laughs> you never change, do you? Uh, why did you have us walk all this way? Paimon thought we just had to go far enough to be out of earshot. A friend approaches. What? Hello. Ah! Chase and Rise Show! So, you're here too? Not gonna make it. I've been here the whole time. What do you mean you've been here the whole time? No Ghost way. Kite. No Did way. That elusive director who be coming to Wangshu Inn once again. <laughs> what? What is she doing here? <sighs> I suppose it matters not. Given her relationship with Rex. Well, Zhang Li, I might as well go pay my respects. Huh. 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 It's you. I thought you were Director Hu. Ah, your arrival is most fortuitous. Do you want to try out this new gadget? <laughs> you want to fly a kite, Zhao? The addition of the power source makes the takeoff more stable. It's just that... He seems quite immersed in the study of this device. I fear it's almost too stable. It completely negates the pleasure of seeing one's kite sway with the wind. It's a bit of a shame. <laughs> I can't deal with this. 
In truth, I'm here because Director Hu dispatched me to purchase some items in preparation for Lantern Rite. I see. Much like she does every year. Much like she'll do next year, I would imagine. Hmm. Ugh. Am I wrong? Or has she once again sent you out to buy... What is it? Sesame oil or something? While we're on the subject, I do wonder why she is so obsessed with using sesame oil in the <laughs> preparation of mixed vegetable dishes for Lantern Rite. A recommendation from Shang Ling, perhaps. What do you think, Xiao? I've only met Director Hu a few times. I'm hardly the best person to ask. Ah, and is that not a sign that you should visit Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor more often? It wouldn't hurt to grace the parlor with your presence now and again, when you are otherwise unoccupied. This one here is a traditional kite, one without any equipped mechanical device. Director Hu tasked me with studying the differences between the two to determine which one is of greater merit. Many hands make light work. Perhaps you could test out the other kite for me? All right. Aww. I have made my comparisons. If speed is what you're after, the mechanical kite is the better choice. Wonderful. I shall pass that information along to Director Hu. I'll leave these two kites with you. Perhaps you can find a few friends with which to partake in the activity. You might find it to be an enjoyable use of your time. Oh, uh, wait. Who enjoys kite flying? <laughs> well, I would imagine someone of your talent and wisdom is more than capable of finding out. So, you were testing out the kites for Hu Tao and even roped Xiao into doing it for you? Paimon didn't ask earlier because the situation was uh, awkward. Yeah. I would hardly say I roped Xiao into anything. I simply sought roped. the help of a friend. Xiao. Besides, we did really? the testing roped together. Strings. Kite. Uh, seems like our pool of competitors is growing. Yeah, the competition's not the important thing right now, Paimon. I actually completely forgot about that, so... Uh, but doesn't matter! We're gonna win anyways! Do you like kite Sorry. flying, Xiao? Sorry, I'd see that. Only slightly competitive. <clears throat> I suppose I neither like nor dislike it. Although, watching a kite gradually ascend into the sky does bring me a certain peace of mind. Perhaps they're a bit like shell lanterns in that way. Hmm. Kite flying is also a pleasant form of relaxation. Have you ever thought about making a kite shell? Cloud Retainer taught us how. We can teach you if you want. Don't do it. Don't do it. There's no need. Okay. Minogius was the only Yaksha among us who had an interest in matters of ornamentation and design. When Lantern Rite is over, come find me near Pervasi's temple if you have the time. Absolutely. Mm. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, sure. If I have the time, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a busy traveler, you know? It's getting late. I should go inform Director Hu of our findings. How has she been, by the way? Be sure to say hi to her for us. The last time I spoke to her, she mentioned that she would be visiting Chaoying Village in a few days. If you have the time, perhaps you could also make the trip. If you happen to run into her, you can pass along your regards in person. We'll keep that in mind. Take care, Xiang Li. See you later. See you next time. Uh, oh. <sighs> Coming. Dad. <clears throat> uh, uh, you can go first. Uh, I don't have anything to say. Huh. Then I'll go. Okay. I still don't want to leave Liyue Harbor. Oh. Uh. <sighs> I can't say I support that decision, but... <sighs> hey, let me finish before you get all worked up. <sighs> <sighs> sit, Shinha, sit. 
You must be tired from your journey. Shall I pour you a cup of tea? Or would you prefer something else to drink? <laughs> no need. I'm not tired. Hmm. They're gone, Master. Ah! Perfect. The time is nigh for us to make an appearance. Do you remember the plan one recounted to you? Yes, Master. We aim to give them a demonstration of familial love. What? What is? So I'll have whatever you are having. What the? All right. What are Auntie Shen Yun and Shen He doing here? Just how many people are involved in this scheme? <laughs> I suppose all I can do is just take a seat and see what happens. Just go with the flow. <laughs> Perfect. I just so happened to have bought some Sunglow tea recently. What? It's quite the delectable variety. Is it? Or it would be if one has not been forced to drink it every day in the hopes of whittling down one's considerable <laughs> stash. One has more than had one's fill already. <gasps> Awful. Oh, forget it. Such thoughts detract from the present need to keep up the conversation. <clears throat> Has work been busy during the holiday season? Yes. Do you need my help with anything? Yes, Shenha. This we're totally not acting. Please continue this engaging conversation. Drunk guests can sometimes cause trouble, ah. but I deal with them as you taught me by pinning their heads against the table. She's right, Shenha. Uh? Are Auntie Shen Yun and Shenha serious right now? <coughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear. <clears throat> While one was busy orchestrating this act, one seems to have forgotten about Shunha's various eccentricities. It's like a Sakura moment from Naruto just now. <clears throat> what, what, uh, uh, what I meant to ask was, Yeah. have you made any new friends? Yes. We live so far from each other. Yes. It would be a great comfort to me to know you were surrounded by good companions. Exactly. <sighs> You already know of my past circumstances. Uh, no, no I don't. No. Recently, I've been conversing with Guoba in the kitchen at night. The bear? Guoba can't talk, but his companionship is a comfort. Okay. <sighs> the poor child. Her one friend can't even talk. I guess maybe Gaming is not. We all got problems? After all. Perhaps I've been too hard on him. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Do you have any plans for today, Shen He? How about we do something fun? Yes, you want to fly a kite? That sounds about right. Take her to do something fun, and perhaps she'll loosen up a bit. Like we used to do when we would carry stones up and down the mountain ah! from dawn until dusk, no! picking herbs to eat for dinner along the way. <laughs> that's that's if that slavery. Is what you ask of me. Uh that's not. Then that is what I shall do. No, that is not what we. I was gonna ask you want to fly a kite. <laughs> Dad, uh, here, have some tea. Or, or no, wait. Let's not uh, have any just yet. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> went down the wrong pipe. Uh, it happens sometimes. Can't listen to that any you, longer. You just have to take it slow. Coming. What? I'd like to finish what I was trying to say before. Yeah. Let's let's wrap this up. I don't support your decision to stay in Liyue Harbor, because living there is too hard on you. If you come home, there will be people to help you. I'm not saying we have to live under the same roof. I know our personalities are too similar to avoid butting heads. But you'll have your entire family around you. Your aunts, uncles, they'll all do whatever they can to help. You could get a less taxing job, and we could... We could grab dim sum together from time to time. Huh. I didn't know dim sum was such an important affair, Master. Shut up! Shh! Just think about it. Okay? You don't have to decide now. Oh my god. Dad really has changed a lot. He would never have said these things to me before. But I... Thank you, Dad. It's been long enough, don't you think? 
Oh, I'm not sure hopes they've made up by now. I really don't think we should go over there just yet. Oh, they're drinking tea in silence. That's not a good sign. Did Xianyan's plan not work after all? Uh, hey you two! <clears throat> Paimon's sorry we were gone for so long. We got to chatting with some friends and didn't realize how much time had passed. Perfect timing, actually. We seem to be just about done here. Yep, uh, let's go. I'll get the Vax. <sighs> Gaming has grown a lot taller, hasn't he? <laughs> oh, he's taller than me? Thought I was tall. Okay, Shenha, we need to have a talk. Master, did I say something wrong earlier? <laughs> yes! I tried to go along with your questions, but when I saw how you and that man reacted, <laughs> I started to wonder. <sighs> Not at all. Certain unforeseen variables may have presented themselves along the way, but the outcome proved favorable. The plan was a success. Then I helped? You did, you did great, Shinha. Naturally. Your purity of spirit is one of your greatest strengths, Shenha. You need not change who you are. That's right. Never change. Also, please don't put my face through a table. Thank you. You must be Mr. Ip! Thank you for coming all this way. We didn't- we actually didn't try to stop and see you, Charlotte. We were- My we're gonna- My name is Charlotte, and I'm a reporter from Fontaine. You can find me writing for the Steambird. I invited you here not just to purchase your fine tea, but also with the hope that you might be willing to sit down for a short interview. What do you say? An interview? To advertise my teas? I- you know what? Yiptak doesn't have time right I now for that. I suppose you could think of it that way. We Fontanians are big tea drinkers, too. The Fontaine Market. Yeah, y'all could discuss this. And then I'll need some time to adequately prepare. Yes. Perhaps we could yes. sit down and discuss the questions you intend to ask in advance. Yes. Yes. I like that. I don't have to be course. part of that, right? Please follow me. Okay. He's been escorted. I think we did our job, Gaming. What do you Is think? Is this person also involved in your plan? <laughs> what? What plan are you talking about? <clears throat> She's the very important client. And here, I thought I had lots of connections. <sighs> I suppose I've been humbled. You sure know all kinds of cool and important people. Yeah, you should. That's right. <laughs> she keep me around, you know? Over here. Yoo-hoo! Huh? Over here! Huh? Uh-huh. But Auntie Shenyun? She probably wants to talk about the next phase of the plan. Let's go while your dad is still distracted. Okay. Ha! Just a flesh wound. Happens to us all. I love Thank you so much. I take it that all is going well? Don't worry, Shenyun. Everything is going according to plan. Yep. Totally foolproof. I knew it. I knew that was all an act earlier. Auntie Shenyun is really something. Yeah, well... She was so determined to help me, she didn't even care about making herself and Shanka appear foolish in front of my family. She truly knows how to look out for others. I still have a lot to learn. Well, I mean, Shenha's a little questionable. As for the next step... What? Oh no! What's wrong, Gaming? Don't tell me you're the ones footing the bill for all that tea. Huh? I can't let you do that. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Fret not. Reimbursements will be made. Exactly. Think of it more as an investment, as Ningguang would say. Did someone say Ningguang? We pulled together the Mora so that Charlotte could place the order. She's going to bring it back to the Steambird as a gift, as Aww. well as a sample of the regional specialty. Fontanians will probably fall in love with your dad's tea as soon as they lay their eyes on Charlotte's article. And once all the money from the new orders begin to roll in, getting our Mora back will be a piece of cake. Oh, okay. What she said. Business-related matters always seem to go over my head, but 
I refuse to let you all lose Mora on my behalf. I'll pay you back right now. Listen here, Gumming. We can talk about such matters at a later date. There are more important matters for you to consider at the moment. Exactly. Are there not? Yes. I've been thinking about it the whole way here. What? I have an idea. What? But I'd hate to cause even more trouble for all of you. You're no trouble at all. Hmm. That is for us to decide. Yeah! Yeah! We're all friends here. Plus, we wouldn't be here if we didn't want to help, right? Just tell us about this idea of yours. You want to dance for your dad, don't you? Okay. So, it's like this. Hey! Don't you keep me in the dark? Hey! Got it! Just leave it to us! Hold on! Let's split up and make it happen! Details! We need to do those things we talked about, okay. but we also still have the kite flying competition. We can honestly skip that. Since we Xiao should... already tested out those kites for us, why don't we also go buy one of those mechanical thingamabobs or whatever they're called? We can attach it to our kite! Hello again! Full circle. Welcome back. I see you returned from your trip. Yep. I really do have to thank you for all your help from before. Absolutely. Thanks to you, mm -hmm. my daughter was able to build a kite with her grandmother that very same day. That's cute. She even wrote a long letter telling me how much she loved it. I don't care. Oh, you should really be thanking Gaming, not us. I'm here to buy a kite. Uh, I'll be sure to. And are you here to buy a kite? Please, take your pick. Oh, we All right. have a kite. We wanted to buy one of those, um, device thingies from Fontaine. Do you sell them? Ah, yes. Here you go. Please, take it, free of charge. Oh. The directions are in the box. It's not hard. Um, it doesn't feel right for us to just take it. Well, nor would it feel right for me to take your Mora. <laughs> but you're- Good luck in the kite flying competition. I'll be rooting for you. Right now, I have to win in your honor. All right, then. Thank you. It's done. Let's get down to business. Okay. Looks like we finished everything we needed to do. Let's find a good place and put this thing into the sky. It's the lantern right. Finally. <laughs> They're so cute! Oh my gosh! Shenha, Kanyu, you look amazing. Oh! Come here, allow me. I can do it. Fine, whatever. Why is it getting dark? What should we do? Oh, should we get the mill with? What's that? Oh. Okay. Coming. He's going to perform a wushu dance. Oh. Yo! On water? This is dead! This dad's gonna see it! Yo! Whoa! What is he doing? Mm. Shenyu. Huh. 
incredible you did it your dad saw it catching have I taken that many pictures already uh, I need to load more film see that Charlotte the kites Did it. Oh. Wait. The wind. Oh no. Oh. oh my gosh. What? The guys can fly, so they can Happy be free. Lantern, right? <laughs> Happy Lantern, right? This game. Just try to play. How they gonna do that? <sighs> Lumine, what's with that? Every lantern right makes us cry. Just so you are aware. Okay, if you haven't seen the last ones or the past ones, you need to go watch them. okay thank you little girl do you want us to walk you back no need no need master is waiting for me right over there I suppose I'll go first this time. Go for it. Okay. Your performance. I've seen many wushu dances in my time, but I've got to admit, what you pulled off there was breathtaking. Wow. I... I never thought I'd live to hear you say that. You're serious about doing this professionally? A absolutely. I, I know it'll be difficult, but... Then it doesn't matter. What I mean to say is, of course it'll be difficult. But if that's your decision, if that's your dream, then it doesn't matter how difficult it is. As long as you put in the work, then any obstacle can be overcome in time. Really, when I was young, I also... <laughs> Actually, how about we save that story of my past for another time? All I really want to say is, I've changed my mind. And much like this kite, you also deserve to soar to new heights. Dad... God... Uh. Son... Son? <laughs> Haven't heard that in a while. I'm done. I bet you're wondering what's gotten into me saying all this. Well, um... 
<laughs> a little bit, yeah. Anyway, I know I've never found the chance to say this before, but... <clears throat> to me, Gaming, you've always been a great kid. <laughs> All right, that's everything I've got. Did you have something you wanted to say, or...? Yeah, it's all because of you, Paimon. Narcissistic, floating, hungry. Now go. Over there, your friends are still waiting for you. Huh? But you came all this way. I'll be staying in Liyue Harbor for a bit longer. When you have time, we can grab them some together. Your treat, right? Dad. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Go. <laughs> okay. Then I'm off. Is there anything you want to do? I'm gonna go clean up real quick. Akio. Yes. Uh, this will be on YouTube. Uh, probably this week. <clears throat> Welcome in, by the way. I'm good. That that lantern right did not make me cry. It's just, uh, you know, allergies are awful. You know? Can't stand allergies, honestly. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's leaking the roof! It's, uh... You know... Gotta get that fixed. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, Gaming, is there anything you you want to do? You know? Hmm... I'd like to find and thank Auntie Shenyun, as well as everyone else who's helped me out. Okay. If everyone has time, maybe we could all get together and... go fly a kite. Okay. Traveler. <clears throat> Ciao. <laughs> I wasn't looking for you. I just happened to cross paths. <laughs> uh, but it's just as I thought. You stopped short of stepping into the city again. Being in the city isn't the only way for me to appreciate the lights and beauty of Lantern Right. Look. Liyue Harbor lies just beyond this mountain. Okay. As long as I stand at this vantage point... I may freely behold the sights of all the kites slowly ascending into the sky. Okay, that it, that sounds advantageous, but for me, that is enough. All right, Chow. All right. I invited you here because there is something I would like to do. You want to fly a kite? I want to release a shell lantern, and I'd like you to be there for it. Oh, okay. Did you make it yourself? Yes. I apologize for its crude appearance. I have little skill in that regard. Um, that's the best looking one I've seen. You are very kind, as usual. I'm just being honest. 
Because, I, I mean, I haven't made one, so, you know. All right. It's time. Okay. Also planning on spending some time in Chow Ying Village? We didn't have anything else to do today, right? Why don't we go have a look around? Maybe we'll run into her. The mountain air is so refreshing. It makes Paimon feel like she could float around all day and never get tired. Cream! Gummies! Huh? Did you hear that? Sunshine! Blue skies! Good huh? vibes! Yeah! Right? So Paimon wasn't just hearing things. Hmm, that voice sounds really familiar. Well, we've got the time. Why don't we go check it out? Okay. Almonds, this cocoa paste. What? <gasps> Paul. What are they doing here? Navi and Chlorine. Navi and Chlorine. Ah, well, if it isn't my dear partners. What are you doing here? See. I told you that something good was going to happen during our travels today. Yeah? I have to say, sometimes the Steambird's astrology column is spot on. That's right. It's just your lucky day. Yes, it is. Are you guys also here to catch the festivities? Catch you. Oh, and that reminds me. Happy Lantern Rite. Happy Lantern Rite. <clears throat> Happy Lantern Rite. <clears throat> Happy Lantern Rite to you, too! Uh, wait, if you're here for Lantern Rite... And that voice we heard, that was you, right, Navia? Oh, impressive. You could tell it was me from that far away. Oh, yeah. You've got good ears. <laughs> That's not the old... <clears throat> that or your voice is just really loud. Paimon! Well, of course it is. After all, I'm a boss. Yes, you are. <clears throat> Indeed. I suppose it's an asset. Yes. Yes, she has... Sure is! Having a loud voice is a handy tool when it comes to communication. <laughs> you got that all taken care of, don't you? Wait, wait, wait. That wasn't even Paimon's point. Paimon just wants to know why you two were shouting from the top of this deserted mountain. There was something about almonds, maybe? And buell fruit? Ooh, is it some sort of secret code? No, it's not a code. The words are meaningless. Perfect. Perhaps... But the act of shouting was very meaningful indeed. That's just what mountain climbers do, right? After all the hard work it takes to make it to the top, as you stand on the summit looking out at the vast scenery, it's not easy to resist the urge to release those emotions. I see. So it's not what you were shouting that matters, but the act of shouting itself. <laughs> exactly. Hmm. You get me, partner. <laughs> That's right. Of course I get you. We're partners. I was afraid that it would cause a disturbance, so I asked the locals around here, and they said it was fine. Apparently, most hikers like to shout when they get to the top, mm. so the locals are used to it by now. I see. So, you see, it's not just me. I guess everyone shouts from the top of a mountain at some point in their life. That's right. Uh, speak for yourself. You're not a shouter. <clears throat> When you're stressed, don't you ever just get the urge to do something for no reason? Ha! <laughs> mm, not really. If I ever get stressed, I just go hunting. She's nice. Oh, that's a pretty good way to relieve stress. Pyman, don't, don't support that. Hunting what? Mm. What I choose to hunt depends on my mood. Okay. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Anyway, why don't you two give it a try? Shout anything you want. It's a real stress reliever. Navia! <coughs> as long as Paimon has 
clothes on her back and food in her belly, Paimon doesn't think there's any stress that needs relieving. <laughs> and I prefer <laughs> to internalize. <laughs> oh, I bet you guys are just too embarrassed to let loose. Yep. No need to be shy. Even Farina was shouting from the top of this mountain earlier. What? Farina? Huh? Did Paimon hear that right? Farina's also here? What? In Chaoying Village? No. Believe in your ears. It is indeed as you heard. Huh. O okay. Actually, the reason we climbed this mountain in the first place was also because we heard the sound of shouting. You could have led with that. Yes. We could just about make out someone yelling things like, Help me! And what should I do? So we hurried up here to check it out. And what do you know? Miss Farina was standing right there, all red in the face. She practically sprinted back down the mountain the minute she saw us. You should have said something! Uh, that reminds me. I believe what she actually said was, So help me, I will figure out what I should do about this script. What? Uh, so... You could actually hear what she was saying? Why didn't you say so earlier? I thought someone was really in trouble. Hi. I figured we would come check out the situation either way. Why not let her keep some privacy? Oh, seems like you caught Farina in the middle of some stress relief as well. She probably would have never thought... No, she definitely would have never thought she would run into anyone she knew all the way out here. Anyways, was she alone? I think so. Uh, we ran into Nervalette on the way here as well, but Nervalette! he was already on his way back, so huh. they probably weren't together. Oh man. What? Nervalette was here too? But why is Fontaine gathering here? What was he doing here? It couldn't have been for vacation. I think it just might have been, actually. But apparently he only stayed for half a day before heading back. Seriously? He's a very busy man. Hmm. Nevillette is not the type to take much time off. Taking even a half day for himself is already a huge step in the right direction. Yeah. Didn't Charlotte publish an article on the Liyue tea industry recently? Maybe he was inspired to come buy some tea after reading that article. You know, just like you were. My situation is completely different. I'm here because I was asked to accompany you. Ha! Huh. The tea purchase is simply an added bonus of this location. Ah. Uh. You Fontanians and your tea drinking. I swear. Oh, it's not for me. I lost a bet with Ridesley, and now I have to buy him something. Ho <laughs> ho! Ah! Buying gift for Mr. Ridesley, eh? I get it. I would too. It was just a spur of the moment sort of bet. Yeah. But it was. Ridesley gets really invested in that sort of thing. Yeah. But he couldn't care less about what he wins in the end. Sounded more and more familiar with him. You could give him mint plants that you plucked from the side of the road, and he wouldn't even mind. I see. Uh, if only he was that easy going when it came to talking business. <laughs> <laughs> In any case, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the tea you bought is this region's specialty. What is it called again? Uh, <sighs> Nervalette even mentioned it earlier. <laughs> Sung low tea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you buy ten boxes and get half off? Yes, yes, that's the one. Ah. You didn't really buy ten boxes, did you? <sighs> Please. Do I look like someone who would fall for that sort of marketing trap? Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> who that did that? reminds me. Huh. You guys said you only came up here because you heard my voice, right? I hope it didn't put you out. You nope. must have had other plans for the day. Uh, you know, whatever your plans are, my plans, you know? <laughs> oh, that's right. Who tell? Oh. A few days ago, we heard that a friend was going to be in Chaoying Village, so uh, we decided to come and see if we could run into her. Right. Oh dear, we've been chatting for quite some time. I'm sorry for keeping you. No, I'm done, partner. <laughs> That's good. We should probably head out and look for Hu Tao. No need to stay on our account. We just got up here, so we're gonna stay around for a little longer. And and do what exactly? Mm. Go and meet your friend. We can meet up in Chaoying Village later. Don't you forget! Sounds good. We're gonna head down the mountain then. See you later! Chaoying Village is known for its tea. But you know what else they have with tea? That's right! Dim sum! 
I've heard dim sum so much. Didn't Gaming say something about dim sum being eaten in the morning? Oh, Paimon wonders if we can still get some at this time of day. Afternoon tea might be more appropriate at this point. Oh, well that's fine too. Paimon doesn't care what kind of tea it is as long as it comes with some tasty snacks. Now, let's see what kind of yummy things we can find around here. Uh, Paimon's not seeing things, Paul! is that Farino standing between Zhongli and Hu Tao? Nani! Wonder what they're talking about. Hmm, Zhongli knows a lot of stuff. Maybe he's telling Farino about Chow Ying Village. Why don't we go find out? Oh, or maybe Hu Tao is trying to rope Farina into being one of her clients. Want to make a bet? Hey, this isn't the Fortress of Maripede. But... Trauma. I could be convinced for the right price. Let's say loser buys the winner three huge bowls of seafood kanji. You're right. Since Zhang Li is there, Paimon bets things are pretty tame. It's decided then. Paimon votes for tour guide Zhang Li. Then I vote for Hustler Hu Tao. <laughs> All right, no time to waste. Let's uh, go see who's right. Okay. Cheese and rice, Paimon! Oh, great. Now Paimon shouting, too. Oh, well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Seems like our luck just keeps on growing. Do you mean that? That we were able to meet you both without prior arrangement must mean that this is quite the serendipitous meeting indeed. Agreed. Ha! <laughs> it is nothing short of fate. Both of you are acquainted with the Traveler and Paimon, then. Hi, Furina. This is our first time meeting after, you know, the whole prophecy thing. I, you know, so many chums into all in one place, right? Ha 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 Looks like someone's learned a thing or two from Zhang Li. <laughs> Zhang, indeed. <laughs> uh -oh. I must admit, I'm a bit surprised to see you here, Traveler. Uh, well... But seeing as you're a hero who's been all over to that, it makes sense that you would be well-traveled and well-connected. That's right, Farina. Don't you forget it. Since we have found ourselves in each other's company within this fertile land, allow me to take this opportunity to wish you a happy Lantern Rite. Happy Lantern Rite to you as well. It appears you have been to Fontaine then. You have no idea, Zhang Li. Given your proclivity to spread good deeds wherever you go, My proco what? it's no surprise that you would make the acquaintance of a celebrity as illustrious and celebrated as Miss Farina. Indeed. Uh, that's quite high praise. Yeah, Schmidt Mime. I get it. What I mean to say is, you flatter me, Mr. Zhang Li. You should let him. Although I've built up a certain following within Fontaine, it is no reflection of strength or wisdom. Yes, it is! I stand before you right now as nothing more than an ordinary traveler in search of beautiful scenery and creative inspiration. Nothing ordinary about you, Furina. There is definitely more to Mr. Zhongli than meets the eye. I could tell as much from our conversation earlier. There's only one way to find out. You should get to know him. He's great. Given his breadth of knowledge on both academic and worldly matters, there's no way he hasn't heard about what happened in Fontaine. Is he just feigning ignorance for my benefit? No, 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 no. Ay ya. You're no common tourist. I simply won't have you talk about yourself that way. Oh, does that mean Hu Tao also knows? You may not have heard, friends, but... Huh? Uh, um, Miss Hu Tao. Miss Farina is now one of my esteemed clients. Ha! Hustler Hu Tao, I uh, win! Uh, Pay up, Harmon! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? She's Hu Tao's esteemed client. <laughs> okay, okay, you win. That's right. 
Always do. <laughs> hmm, guess Paimon will have to break into the hidden stash at the bottom of her shoe. What? I don't want that. No. Uh, what's this about winning something? Uh, n nothing. Don't tell me. You two were placing bets on us. What? No. No. It was all Paimon! Yeah. Help but take guesses as to what you were talking about. Yeah. Oh, I see. That means you, my friend, must have guessed that I was trying to promote my business to Miss Farina. I mean, <laughs> totes obvi. <laughs> that I do, my friend. What was Paimon's guess then? Paimon thought Zhang Li was showing the newbie around. <sighs> By newbie, you mean me, right? That's right. If that's the case, then Paimon's guess was also correct. Shut up, Zhongli! Oh, that's right. Respectfully! Mr. Zhongli was telling me about some great sightseeing spots in the area. You know, it's even greater if he accompanies you to these locations. <laughs> you see? Paimon was right, too! Shut up, Paimon. Fine. Keep your secret stash. Hey, don't be upset, traveler. How about this? You buy Paimon a bull, and Paimon will also buy you a bull. Uh, as for the third bull... Since I was the subject of the bet, perhaps it should go to me? You know, as a congratulations for the huge deal I just struck. Are you kidding me? Look. Just because I'll buy you a bull anytime you want, doesn't mean... That in this particular situation, I'll buy you a bowl because of the situation. Okay? <clears throat> but okay, fine. Stop to tomorrow. <laughs> I was just joking. Anyway, so I should I. be the one treating you. The funeral parlor is about to bring in quite the sum after all. Yeah. Oh, Paimon almost forgot to ask about the most important question. Yes. Did I... Something happen recently, Farina? Huh? What do you mean? Uh, well, you know, with you enlisting the services of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor and all. Oh, well, yes. Really? Oh, no. Paimon is so sorry for your loss. Although Paimon may have not known the person, please accept Paimon's deepest... Whoa, 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 it's not like that, Paimon. Huh? Huh? But Paimon just thought... Since you hired the services of a funeral parlor and all... Hey, it's not that big of a stretch. Really, Paimon? It's not like you don't know me. Do I look like I know anyone who would ask me to coordinate their funeral? <laughs> Miss Hu Tao is simply helping prepare some props for my film. Hmm. Not too long ago, I read a collection of horror stories from Liyue. The content was spectacular! In fact, I still feel the need to sleep with the light on even now. So, an anthology series. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's not the point. Okay. Now that Fontaine's biggest star has returned to the stage, I figured it's about time the industry enjoyed a breath of fresh air. You might even call it a breath of fresh air. -er. Hey, <laughs> that's pretty good. I'll have to remember yeah. that for my ad posters. Oh, Paimon sees. That makes a lot of sense. So, did you come to Liyue just to enlist the services of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Well, not exactly. My original plan was to just relax and enjoy the sights. But then I ran into Miss Hu Tao and Mr. Zhang Li, and, well, you know the rest. I suppose it was meant to be. It was a fated meeting indeed. Zhang Li sure loves his lofty turns of phrase. But if you ask me, it's all thanks to that man who stopped to ask for directions. Who? Oh. Who? Who was it? It's someone you know. Wanna take a guess? Who was it? I don't know. New letter? What? How did you guess that on your first try? 
What are the odds? <laughs> Very impressive, my friend. Hey, Your guessing you. game is spot on today. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> <clears throat> so you have me have bumped into Navi and Clarin on top of a mountain. You know. And uh, I don't know how to say anything else to I fear, you know. Huh. I never thought Nervalette would be the type to get lost. I'm sure he didn't get lost. <laughs> Even I was able to find my way to this place without any trouble. He was already getting ready to leave by the time I arrived. He just wanted to ask someone about the quickest way to get back to Fontaine. Yep, that's exactly what he asked. This area is full of mountains and rivers. It's normal to not know the fastest route. Well, you know, for him, swimming would probably be the fastest route of them all, you know. So, were you the one that pointed him in the right direction, Hotel? Of course. I'm also a guide of sorts, you know. So naturally, I also have a great sense of direction. But, speaking of your friend... Yeah? What about him? He doesn't get out much, does he? No. He doesn't. Ah, uh, no wonder. He was stiff as a board and way too polite. I would have never guessed he was here on vacation if you hadn't told me. It's okay. All in all, he was only here for half a day. I'm pretty sure he is the only one who would consider that to be a vacation. Yeah. Oh? This gentleman you speak of must keep a demanding schedule. You two must meet. I'm sure he does. You didn't see him, but he was dressed like he was about to attend some important meeting. It wasn't anything like what someone would wear on vacation. That's his only outfit. Is that so? Wait, you didn't see him, Jolie? Unfortunately, no. At the time, it appeared as if Director Hu and Miss Farina were having quite the productive conversation. I know matters of business can take much discussion, so I decided to fetch some tea for them. What a shame. That gentleman seemed like a sophisticated sort of guy. I actually think you two would have hit it off. Yes. I will go find him for you. Is that so? Uh-huh. Yes. Judging by how Zhang Li is acting and taking into consideration Nivlet's true identity, it's only I've been avoiding him on purpose. Hmm. Ah! I see. It's truly a pity. <laughs> to borrow Miss Farina's turn of phrase, perhaps it just wasn't meant to be. What? Well, with the traveler around, I'm sure you'll have a chance to get to know each other at some point. That's right. He's got more friends than he knows what to do with. Look. I'm good with people. Well, that's certainly true. Stop it. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. If you get the chance, you should try and talk to Nervalette into loosening up a bit. Oh, I will. Just tell him the Palais Mermonia isn't going to fall apart if he disappears for a few days. <laughs> he shouldn't keep himself cooped up all the time. Even clams open their shells to let in fresh water every once in a while, right? Uh, sure. If he's really that much of a stickler for protocol, he can fill out a leave of absence request. He'd uh, have to approve it himself since he handles that sort of thing now, but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, makes sense. Seems like this gentleman is also in charge of something pretty important. He's the fair and impartial Udex of Fontaine, head of the highest court in the land. Otherwise known as the demon who controls all the paperwork in Fontaine. Hey, uh... Sounds like a pretty uptight sort of guy, all right. In my experience, a leader needs to be able to roll with the punches. That also includes knowing when and what to prioritize. It seems like your friend still has a lot of growing to do. If I remember correctly, he's already several thousands of years old. Uh, you're quite right, Miss Hutao. Oh? Traveler, Miss Farina. Those two individuals over there appear to recognize you. Oh, it's Navia and Clarand. Hey, over here! Gang's all here. Just gotta go find Nouvellet. We 
saw you all chatting over here, and we're wondering if we could join in. <clears throat> um, please, excuse the interruption. Oh, <laughs> so polite. No apologies necessary. Any friend of the Traveler and Miss Farina is a friend of mine. Ah, <laughs> straight to the point. I like it. Everyone circles around you and begins to introduce themselves. Hotel's eyes light up when she hears about Clarine's profession. <laughs> but a quick explanation from Fiorina and Avia seems to dispel some of her more misguided ideas. Hmm, it's getting late. If we want to catch a boat back before dark, we should probably get going. Indeed. Then, Miss Farina. Oh, uh, uh, yes? When are you planning to head back? Do you need us to escort you? Oh, um, I, I don't think that will be necessary. I mean, you're not my subordinate anymore. You don't need to look after me. Um, I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> it's normal for friends to travel home together if they run into each other on the road. There are a lot of mountainous roads in this area. I imagine they'll be even harder to navigate after dark. Exactly! Just like in those ghost stories. <laughs> Eight paths converge in a wood. Beside them an old house is stood. If you dare to go inside, not a soul will greet your eye. Hold out! But, huh. if you take a closer look, Huh. There may be something you mistook. Huh. A candle flickers to and fro. Oh boy. Yet there is no wind to make it so. Stop it! What is its secret? What could it mean? In this wood, where mystery. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> My dear Demoiselle, stop, uh, ladies. No, uh, I mean, friends. Please take me with you. Go, go, go. <laughs> of course. <clears throat> Farina? <laughs> Gotta say, Farina, you are really quite the character. By the way, did I hear you mention that Clorand used to work under you? Then you must have also been a leader at some point. You have no idea. Uh, well, that's, uh, all in the past now. Besides, being a leader is hard. It wasn't the right job for me. I prefer how things are now. I can come and go as I please and get to enjoy the sweet taste of freedom. Like a kite without a tether. I see. Well, you've certainly picked an apt place to relax. Chaoying Village is an exemplary choice. You're an exemplary choice. Only the best. <laughs> and I've learned a lot, too. Thank you so much, Miss Hu Tao and Mr. Zhongli. It's fine. You've thanked us more than enough already. The next time you're in this neck of the woods, I'll treat you to some dim sum in the city. I'm going to think about dim sum in my sleep. Dim sum. Is that some kind of liyue term for snacks or desserts? They are a part of it. It's basically a table full of as much tea, sweets, and good company as you can manage. Oh, so it's basically a tea party. <laughs> Sounds great. Make sure to order the winter melon cake and the lotus flower crisp. They're so sweet and delicious, Paimon knows you'll love them. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to it then. Wait, but didn't you guys say you were here on vacation? How come you're all going home empty-handed? Yeah, you're not bringing home any souvenirs? Of course I am. I bought tons of fun things to bring home with me. A kite, a parasol, a little tin frog that jumps. Oh, and a stuffed toy of a mythical beast. Uh. Clorand is the one who didn't buy anything for herself. So all you're bringing back with you is that tea? And some tea-flavored hard candies. They're for Sijuin. Aww. Clorand isn't much of a shopaholic. Well, one of us has to practice restraint. Ha! <laughs> hey, I'm hardly reckless with my Mora. I'll have you know, all the purchases I made today were well within my budget. And what about you, Fiorina? Me? Oh, 
Well, I bought some tea, of course. I just had to try all the varieties recommended in the Steambird. Other than that, just some bits and bobs, you know. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh huh. They should all be things I can use. I think. You fell for the marketing traps then. Uh, now Paimon's even more confused. If you bought that much stuff, where did it all go? Into one of Linny's magic packets? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> actually. Monsieur Neuvillet took them with him. Oh, so that's what happened. Wait, what? Why did he take them? He's not hoarding treasure, is he? Oh, <laughs> that's quite the imagination you've got there, Paimon. Monsieur Nervillette just saw the amount of bags we had and offered to take them back for us. I felt a bit bad at first, but, uh, I really did have a lot of stuff. <laughs> he even offered to deliver my gifts to the Fortress of Meripede for me once he's done with the day's work. Okay, no, you have to do that, all right? Nervillette is a man of his word. If he says he can do something, then he means it. See? Even Clorand was happy to take him up on his offer. If even his trusty subordinate agreed, then who was I to refuse? Wow, he seems like a real gentleman. Maybe he's not as uptight as I thought. If only the funeral parlor had an employee as thoughtful, proactive, and responsible as him. <laughs> right, Zhang Li? <laughs> Indeed. Clorand said Nervalette offered to deliver her gifts to Risley. So if we go to the entrance of the Fortress of Meripede, maybe we'll run into Nervalette! No! But we don't know exactly when he'll show up. I don't want to go back to the Fortress! Look! It's Nervalette! We left out! Oh, it's you. It has been some time since our last meeting. Yes. Yes, it has. Few people frequent this location. Since I was able to conclude my work early for the day, I thought I might take a walk and avail myself of this area's peace and quiet. Well, I'm here. You call this early? Do you always work this late, Nervalet? Strictly speaking, that depends on the agenda for the day. Fair. I am hardly bereft of time, however, so working late is of little consequence to me. Fair. Really? If you have so much time on your hands, then why did you only go to Chow Ying Village for half a day? Hmm? First, I should clarify that I was referring to my lifespan, rather than the time at my disposal on any given day. <laughs> Second, I was unaware you possessed knowledge of my trip to Chow Ying Village. Oh, that's right. We know everything. I see. Thank you for informing me. So, did you deliver the gifts? Yes, they have been safely delivered. My man! <laughs> I have to hand it to Clorand. Just a simple gift delivery, and she has the great and mighty Udex at her beck and call. <laughs> I was just passing through. It was merely an act of convenience. Hmm. All right. Then I hereby confirm receipt of the goods on behalf of the staff of the Fortress of Meripede. A verbal receipt of confirmation? Is such a formality really necessary for a small matter such as this? Guess not. This quantity of tea, though, seems a little excessive for a gift, don't you think? Before you know it, they'll start accusing me of taking bribes. <laughs> ah, about that. Much of that is my own excess, I'm afraid. Oh? Why? What happened? It was buy ten boxes, get half off. <laughs> ah, that explains it then. Well, go ahead and leave them to me. I'll get through this stash as fast as I can. You have my thanks. Oh, there's something else I'd like to give to you. This is... a stone slate, engraved with a symbolic design. Well, that is an apt description. It is, in actuality, a legal codex. A legal codex, huh? Hmm. Before the advent of modern writing utensils, 
Information was recorded on stone slabs such as this. The law was no different. Oh. Oh. Okay. Since ancient times, the scales of justice have symbolized the fairness and impartiality of judiciousness. As a tribute to that sentiment, this slate was designed after a traditional legal codex and engraved with a symbol instead of text. During my travels recently, I chanced upon a roadside stall offering tourists the opportunity to try their hand at the ceramic arts. So I decided to have a go. We joked with Cloran some time ago about gifting you a legal codex. So, here you go. Ah, so that's what this is about. Aww. I did not expect you to remember it as well. In any case, I hope this can be considered as a reasonable attempt to join in on the banter. <laughs> you did great, Nivellet. It is a very good attempt. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Even your sense of humor centers around the law. That's an impressive level of commitment. <laughs> well, a gift of this significance deserves to be put on display, and I know just the place. Front and center in the fortress's showroom. Ah, surely there's no need for such a grand gesture. Just kidding. I don't have anything like a showroom. <laughs> But we do have a storage room. We can put it next to all the mechanical parts Sijuin is collected. That sounds good to me. <laughs> Cheese and rice! So that's what you were doing in Chaoying Village. Indeed. Of course, while I was there, I also took the opportunity to taste the local spring water. Ah. The aftertaste is much purer than what I have delivered to me in Fontaine. It stands to reason that the long-distance transport has a tendency to imbue the water with extraneous emotion. If you want to experience the true flavor, you simply have to go to the source. Perhaps I should organize some time off to do the same elsewhere. As they say in Leeway, a balance between work and play is sure to keep your troubles at bay. Then we are of the same mind. Mm -hmm. It appears my desire is justified. It is. Justify a vacation, right? You can just take one. After all, you're hardly bereft of time. You can do whatever you want. Thank you. You're quite right. I suppose I suffer not from a lack of opportunity, but rather a lack of inspiration. However, after reading a few articles about Li Wei's holiday traditions, the idea popped into my head and made itself quite at home. Seeing as I was free of responsibilities for the morning, I decided to depart at once. And... how was it? Refreshing. My spontaneous outing seemed to inspire quite a few other spontaneous decisions as well. Huh. Take, for example, my foray into ceramics. At first, soil from the ground is granular and unforgiving, but had the right amount of water, and it becomes soft, moldable, and able to take shape. It's like magic. In the past, I never thought about how quotidian vessels were crafted. But now, I have participated in their very making. That's good. This is also something I made today. What? Oh! That is so cute! It's a big ladle! That's a ladle? I meant that it was supposed to be some long-necked sea creature. That was indeed one of my inspirations. <laughs> it's amazing. The color also really matches your style. Really? You like it? I love it. You can ladle me all... <clears throat> to tell you the truth, given your unexpected arrival, I find myself quite unequipped to give you the welcome you deserve. No, 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 this is... this is plenty. Around such an important holiday such as this, human custom would dictate that gifts should be in order. But I'm afraid, this is all I can offer. If you'll have it, that is. Yes. Can, can I really? You made it by hand and everything. That is precisely why it would do me such a great honor if you accepted. Then I... accept, obviously. You are most welcome. Happy Lantern Rite. Happy... Oh, uh, that reminds me. You pass on the advice for Neverland vacation. Hmm. Approve a leave of absence request for myself. Yes. 
That sounds like it could easily lead to a vicious cycle of self-indulgence. It could. Something which couldn't be in further violation of protocol. It's always a possibility. But, I suppose I understand her point. My proclivity to refrain from personal outings does, in part, originate from a sense of responsibility toward hey! my duties. The other dragon but said proclivity. Due to a lack of desire to engage in the human world. You should go engage with Zongli. <laughs> but now I see that the human world is indeed full of many interesting places to discover. You know, not to toot my own ladle, but I could have told you that. All right, we did it. We finished the entire lantern right quest. With six hours and 58 minutes to spare. Woo! It was absolutely worth it, by the way. It was absolutely worth it. It, it was so cool getting to know Gaming, getting to witness Shenhe and Gan Yu's interactions in wonderful new outfits that for some reason Jangling has a problem with. I don't know what it is. I think Jangling's just jealous that she can't rock it like Shenhe, but you know, I get it. Fans look forward to some more. Again, Shenhe and Star Rail fans look forward to more of that. Uh, cause I'm gonna start trying to catch up on Star Rail now too.